Hi guys. <gasps> Did you start that prematurely? No. Oh. What Started is happening? Precisely when I meant to. Precisely when I meant to. Who knows what that's from? Go! Here um, comes movie trivia with Ellen again. I love it. I can't I think it's not. Fun. It's I can't fun. Not. It's fun. Um, okay. I have an exceptionally dry mouth today, if anybody wanted to know. That's why I have a giant water bottle. <gasps> that is a huge water bottle. Hydro Hi, Flask. Uh, buy Hydro Flask. They're overpriced, but if you get them on sale, they're a great deal because they're awesome. Except... This one has a dent in it, which is a little embarrassing. It's got dents all over it, because that's a sign of a good water bottle. Like, take a beating. That's a good point. We actually bought those because... I don't know why. Oh, they make your their, your water stays cold for, like, ever, never, never, yeah. never. Hi, J.D. Bestes. I talked to you today a little bit on the Brothers Murph channel. Oh. And guess what they were playing? This they is were so playing weird. Patchwork. No. And points out. But it was no, but it was in the picture because today Randy's like, pick a game to play, and he's like, let's keep it light, and so it was in that. Oh. Uh, and they were playing what else on did my you phone. have? You had Star Realms in there. <laughs> it was Hero you Realms. You had Hero Realms. You had Lanterns. Were they playing Lanterns? Yes. I was like, dang. The second to last guess. Yeah. How many ounces? I believe it's 64? 40? <clears throat> My throat's being a jerk. 40. Tonight. It's the 40 ouncer. 40 dang ounces of ice cold water. It holds your water so cold yes. for hours. I like it. A lot. I don't know what accent that is. I feel like I mixed a few. Um, Randy, I miss you and Ellen too. I miss everybody all the time. <laughs> I actually text Randy. <laughs> So my grandpa had a 90th birthday party yesterday. 90s? 90s. I can't believe that. When did that happen? Hey? I, yesterday. Well, Dang. like last week. Anyways, I went to the party without him because he had editing to do and I didn't want to bring our four-year-old out because we were doing fireworks and it was a late night thing. And I couldn't even be away <laughs> for an hour without texting you that I missed you. <sighs> You're really clingy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm soups clingy. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I don't mind. Okay, Nathan asked when I'm getting a haircut. I think I got over it. You know what? Yes. Why are we not talking about this yet? But ba bam babe, switch the camera view. Quick. Nope. Quick. Nope. This is why I didn't Quick. cut my hair. Because I was busy doing this. What do you guys Working think? Working out? Yeah. Oh, the tattoo. I gotcha. It's um, two habit doors. You got your Sam's door, Samwise Games. You got Frodo's door right there. Um, and all these flowers. And I'm going in to get shading done at the end of the month. And I might add one more flower right there. But I just, I thought that with cutting my hair was too much. Plus Randy seriously does not want me to do it. Because of my attitude. For you, for your sake. Exactly. Is why I don't want you to do it. I'm doing it for your yeah. own good. This yeah. is one of those, like, what do they call those? Uh, conservatorship. Yeah. I will not allow you, your hair is under my conservatorship. <laughs> -ness. It's true. He will hear my crying for days. <laughs> um, Dork Jedi. Cool. A sweet name. <laughs> uh, bought point salad and patchwork for my mother-in-law last Christmas. We love it. Yeah, they they're are both solid fantastic. Games. And you don't they feel like classics? Honestly, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, you know, I, I'm not sure if though if they really had the reach of like to be called well, a true classic, but it definitely has that kind of feel. Let's like not a, bick on all <laughs> about Okodo. Definitely has like kind of like a timeless feel. It's quick to play. It's easy to learn. Yeah. Um. I've updated my Randy's mouth status chart in my vlog. <laughs> um, let's see. I appreciate the Star Wars love. Also, do you play any X-Wing? Um, I have played X-Wing oh, a total shirt. of once. Why have I not played more X-Wing, you ask? Because I can't find anybody to play it with regularly. <laughs> That's the biggest reason. I always thought it'd be super cool. I I, I love the concept of it. Do I know and this obviously one? with the miniatures and the... And the huh? Do I know this game? I've almost bought, like, the core set a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, it has, like, I don't know, two, like, four ships or, I don't know, something it's something so tiny good. like that. And they've had it on sale a few times. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll at least just get the core set on sale and just give it a shot and whatever. And uh, I just never did. I don't think it's something that you would really enjoy at all. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Um, I would, yeah, I would, I would love to, like, play it. And, we have know. the Star Wars game. Um, we have Imperial Assault. That's it. And I played it one time, and I was like, this is the least amount of fun I've ever had playing a board. I can't. I can't do it. I don't play that game no more. Nathan, I did not know that Carcassonne has a solo mode. Is that like in the box oh, or is that wow. like a like a variant, like a fan variant? I'm not I aware of it. I didn't. 
What not cabinet got cabinet got yeah. so much buzz. I have no idea what it's about. What what is that? What do you do? I don't know really anything about it. I have not like paid attention to the yeah. new games like Guys, all year. We'll I've, lose us. I know. I feel um bad. Okay, this is cool though that you're wearing Star Wars and I got Lot of the Rings right in my arm. Oi. Because we always try to get our kids to like one thing more than the other, right? He's like, Star Hi, Wars Mirren. is the best. And I'm like, no, Lord of the Rings isn't. It's just <laughs> pull in the family. Hi, Mirren. Like From Serbia. Yes. I say we tie for the best. Two best filler games for the night. Yeah, they are great. They're very good. They're very nice, quick, easy um, filler games. I don't think I've sure. ever, ever, ever beat you in patchwork. Yeah, exactly. Imperial Salt um, is too cooperative. I'm not sure me. that's true. Might be true. It's it's um polyamino ish, which I'm horrible at. So um, I just never I never I don't think you're horrible at it. I don't think it's your call. your your best your best mechanic. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is brutal. Imperial Assault is too cooperative. Yeah, I, I really wanted to get into the skirmishes more, but again, I couldn't find anybody to play with regularly, so mm. just kind of just sitting on the shelf. I have it all painted up and everything, and it looks super nice, but... Um, JD Best oh, well. says, Ellen, I'm pretty sure you would like the X-Wing game more than Pure Insult. Not sure you I would think like that would it, probably but at least be it would true. be better. What's, what's the main... So it's like a true like miniatures game, but with airplanes. So like, you know, miniature okay. games, they have like airplanes. actual like... Well, I mean, they're... X wings and ships and stuff. That's they're amazing. spaceships. They're Excuse spaceships. me. They're not aeroplanes. They're spaceships. <laughs> they're aeroplanes of the space. <laughs> Heislers, Miss McKenzie. Um, so you have like measuring devices, and each thing can go a certain a certain length and can arc when they turn. They can arc a certain amount. And you can get like different cards that like let you turn more. And is it like hidden things. information too? No. Well, you you like you, you set your, your each ship has like its its own dial. And then you set the dial to what that each ship is going to do. And yeah. then they more, I think they all kind of trigger simultaneously. And then you fight in certain orders. That sounds like Top Gun. Uh, yeah, Guys, but it's Top like, Gun it's is like a, so fun. Like a four foot by four foot Cheesy board. Cheesy heck, but I love And it. you're like, your ships are going all over this four foot by oh, four foot wow. board. Oh, wow. And sometimes like you have, like there's ranges. So you have like different guns on them. So they'll have guns that shoot in like a certain cone. And then they have like broadside guns and things wow. like that. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's Can you scroll pretty up? interesting. Yes, Jason, I thank can. you. Look, I did it. Uh, patchwork is fun, says Slur Miss Mackenzie 8. But I prefer <laughs> going big. Uwe Polyamino. Feast for Odin or going way smaller, second chance. None of that in between crap, huh? None well, of that middle ground. None of that lukewarm crap in this. <laughs> give me <laughs> hot and give me cold. <laughs> Um, I love Feast for Odin. Randy loves Feast for Odin. And actually, we might play I mean, Feast for Odin has, obviously, polyomino, but it's but what I like about this one specifically and other ones like it, like... Um, Baron um, Park. Yeah, not even... New York Zoo. Baron Park a little bit. Yeah, Baron Park, for sure. New York Zoo, I'm yeah. I'm just saying any polyomino. But, like, where they're, like, polyominoes, like, we're, like, that's what you're doing. Like, your whole thing is to interconnect all these different shapes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Whatnot cabinet mm. is a game of collecting whatnots. Makes oh. sense. And arranging them by color and type on your shelves. Okay, that makes sense. Like that, that totally Is that what a knickknack is? A whatnot? Is that what he's... The, the whatnot cabinet. Okay, so whatnots are knickknacks. Yeah. Oh, I thought you knew that. No. Oh, okay. I'm like, what the heck is a whatnot? Uh, you could totally make noise <laughs> when they move. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Star Wars Outer Whim. I would absolutely love to play that one, but I have not had a chance. Mm. Maybe at the Dice Tower Ooh, Retreat. Ooh, that's a great idea. Totally hidden info. Okay. Second Chance is criminally underrated. I have not played it specifically. Isn't Second Chance a roll and draw one? Isn't that right? Second Chance? I don't know. I think so. Sounds cool. Uh, yes, totally. <laughs> yes, totally hidden that's info. That's how yes. Top Gun is, is you plan out your move in like behind a screen. That game is so cool. You guys, I love Top Gun. So here's what I love about yeah, it. That was cool. You have your aeroplanes... On these like acrylic jet fighters pole thingies, like these little stands, so you can put your plane like on different like like oh gosh, different heights. Yes, I can't say words today. Um, so even if you're like combat's about to happen, you have to make sure you're on the same like level playing field. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty neat. I like it a lot. The volleyball. Carcassonne got a solo mode last year during the lockdown. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I did not know that. That's really neat. I feel stupid for not knowing you. Deep Sea Adventure. Oh. Uh, that one's fun. Yeah, that one's really good. Can We've I got... tell you a story about that? 
Yes. Recently, I've played Deep Sea Adventure, love it. Fantastic Factories, love it. And Terraforming Mars, Ares. Oh, we got I some really stuff to talk I really enjoyed about. Terraforming Mars, Ares expansion. Um, expedition. I always say expansion. Deep Sea Adventure, we got rid of because I'm an idiot. And I want that game back, and it's hard to find. We sold it. I, I was like, they, we don't need I that. I think it's been back in print, though. I think you can get it. It's again. so good. Like, it's so, um, it freaks you out, man. And then you start thinking about losing my oxygen, and that freaks me out. Um, anyways, what else did Fantastic Factories have not played? Um, I have, no, I have not played that Is one. Is that like the steampunk art one? I was thinking of the, uh, what's the other one that's like where you're connecting pipes? Fun Gearworks? Factory. It's oh. like Fun Factory or something like that. Factory Fun. Oh, Gizmos? Factory Fun. Oh. No, it's called Factory we Fun. We just listed off 30,000. <laughs> and then, um, Terraform Martin Era, how do you say Era? Aries? Aries? I think that's how you say it. Because I always say Ares, like a I Z. Think it's Aries, I think. That game was so dang fun. I loved it. And you know what? I used to hate Terraform Mars. I came, I became in love with it. And then the Eris just gives you um, the feels of TM, but totally not. Because you're not doing like any of the same things. Um, Ellen, you what's are. your favorite Half-Blood Elf? Oh my gosh. Ellen, so I must ask about your token knowledge. Who's your Half-Blood Elf? I, I, right when I saw Half-Blood, I'm like, is this a trick question? And they're trying to ask me about Harry Potter. <laughs> Who's your favorite Half-Blood elf? I can't say Wait, but I know one for sure. Aragorn. Is he, he's not part elf, His though, mother is, is elf, elven. El is she? Okay. Yep, he's part of the Dunedain. Yeah, I, I don't remember much out of the actual Lord of the Rings book canon. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Did they abstract out the 1,000 high fives from the Top Gun movie? <laughs> no, but they do have In a volleyball. In between every play, it's like, now high five. They, can, they do have like a volleyball um, game. Like It's like a pregame to get like the cards that you're going to use for the it, actual it dog fighting. I think it's interesting it's enough. It's so dumb, but it works. You literally yeah. play volleyball and like you chance it and you guess where the, your opponent puts certain cards and then you get those abilities going into the next fight. So uh, Nathan, I believe we did play Top Gun. We did play Top Gun Live, I believe. Um, I believe we golly. did. Golly gee. Uh, it seems awfully specific huh? that uh, you remember. know that for sure. I, I'm almost positive we did. <laughs> huh. I need to, We need to do that again because that was really fun. Deep sea adventure. You can borrow mine if you like. I'm, thir I'm You're three minutes away. I think she's talking to somebody else. Oh. They're talking to somebody Beyond else. Beyond Dead. Are you talking about us? Can't be talking about us, can you? Are you? Uh, I call Ares expansion terraforming cards. Just time save time. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. No, but time. hold on. Have you ever yeah, won one. at... Deep Sea Adventure, I thought everyone's always fails at that game. Um, I play it Good somewhat question. conservatively. I'm just like, who needs air? I, I do take risks, but I I feel bad if I don't win. Or I Elrond don't, if I don't get back to elf. the... Uh, if I don't get back. Hi, Ryan. You guys, now I feel stupid. Oh, Elrond is a health. Oh, that's okay. right, because doesn't he, like... Get like called out for that later or something like that. Somebody called him out his name. Basically, like, then he's like, he's like, you shouldn't marry some human. And she's like, you're half human or she's something like, like that. Right? Mom. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, much respect. Thank you, thank you. I mean, Aragorn, you just you can't. That was my your first favorite. stream ever. Oh, okay. So that's that's when the first time that Nathan watched us live was, was really playing Top Gun. that's cool. Top Gun, but I stayed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you stayed. That was that was great fun. Yeah, like like rushing back and then like everybody has to like slog back. They're like trying to yeah. drag all their their treasures up and they're barely moving. Um, Elrond That's is a boss though. Elrond's a boss, and actually, is Elrond boss. is the name of one of our like servers at our house, isn't it? Yes. Yes. All of the servers that we have, we got Osgiliath drives or yeah. drives Osgiliath Mordor. Elrond, Rivendell. Rivendell. Elrond, Hobbiton. Hobbiton? Yeah, all of our, all of our drives in our computer, are, and we have like eight of them, so they're they're all named. You guys, who else loves this different. scene, though, when he's like, who's that over in the corner? He's been staring at us all night, and Mr. and Butterbur's like, he goes by Strider. Goes by Strider. And he lights the little, the little cigarette, the little stogie, and his eyes light up. Under his hood. I always love that part. <laughs> That's cool. I'm a dork. <laughs> Hobbit doors. That's right. <laughs> uh, Our loser was Shadow Facts. Very cool, Ryan. <laughs> this stream is getting super nerdy all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, so that's we're gonna we're jump in. Um, Fifteen minutes in, we're gonna. That's earlier than. Oh, than some... have fun with your homework, or good uh, luck with it. Yeah, have fun with it. Have fun. If you if you don't pass the test, in who cares? School. At least you had fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, we were playing Patchwork first. Our lizard was Shadow Facts. That's awesome. Uh, so this is Patchwork. So Patchwork, um, I highly recommend as an app, by the way. Oh, yeah. hey, look at our 
I thought I took all those. Oh, that's embarrassing. I, I, I thought I took all those off, Blind but I didn't. I, used to play I noticed Elrond. that when we were right about to stream that the box art was wrong. Why do you have this? Oh, great. Jeremy Howard's here. Why do you have this? Because I needed a wet wipe. <laughs> what is this? What am I doing in our stream? Is Jeremy, who are these people? Who are these people? Who are people? you, sir? You guys, Jeremy was just over here the other day. If you don't know Jeremy yeah. Howard, go spy him out on Facebook. He's, yeah, he's man a cool versus cat. people. He's not a cat. Jamalaya plays he's a games and stuff. Twist, <laughs> plot twist, he's a person. He brought over Hadrian's Wall and yes. Furnace. Yes, both and excellent games. They were so fun. Furnace is a lot of bang for your buck engine builder that I'm terrible at. Don't you dare laugh at that score, Jeremy. <sighs> also, Hadrian's Wall, don't laugh at that score also. That was a sweet game oh, when I wanted. On, I want it. Yeah, I know. I wanted to get the real buttons, and every time I pull it out, I go, oh, man, dang, I didn't get those buttons. Yeah. And then I never do it. So, That's there you go. so cute to put real buttons in here. Why are we lame? Ryan and Jeremy both here, big-time streamers. That's right. <laughs> Jeremy's, Definitely. Jeremy's the coolest of all of us, though. <laughs> He's there you go, so, Ryan. That's how Randy feels about he's you. So rad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So patchwork. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is great as an app for sure, and especially even like a PCR. like a pass and play app. We play this a lot on like airplanes and stuff like that when we're traveling. Yeah, whenever um, we're on our nice. on our private jet, this it's always a game yeah, that we play. Yeah, whenever we're just like we like, tell our we tell our weekend, pilot, like, I said, hey, just circle around in the air a few times. We want to play some patchwork. On yeah. the app store. Don't worry about yeah. the fuel. Like we, we'll take care yeah, of it. Yeah, carbon footprint. Forget about it. it We're playing some matter. patchwork. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so um, you take turns taking these polyomino pieces and putting them on your board. Um, <laughs> that's it. But what Did scores <laughs> is how many buttons you have. So every button is a point. So we each start with five buttons, which is also five points. And as you're traveling around this board, it will end when you eventually get to the center. Now, we're playing with this side. It does have a patchwork side that looks better, but it is kind of hard to pick up. So we are playing this. It's a little bit more of a camera-friendly side. Yes. That's a good idea. We should live stream Furnace. Jeremy, we maybe we'll borrow your copy. Uh, maybe I'll drive over and tell maybe Jeremy I'll, to give me his copy. Maybe I'll steal it. It mm -hmm. was pretty close. Um, so as you're going along, every time you pass one of these button lines, you count up all the buttons of the pieces that you have in your board, and you get that many. Mm -hmm. And buttons are used also as a currency to purchase the tiles. So here's Which is the next... so cute. It is You buy cute. it with a button? What the heck? Why are we not doing this in real everyday life? So here life? is uh, one of the sample tiles, and they each have a button value and a time value, mm -hmm. okay? And then these are the buttons that you'll be counting as you cross those lines to get more buttons, which is, again, your currency and also your points. Uh, this one is the cost, so that's your button cost. And they cost anywhere from, I want to say, one? No, one. there is one free one. Anywhere from free to ten buttons, okay? And they'll have different sizes, <laughs> different shapes, of course, as you've mm -hmm. seen. And then there's the time. So the time is what happens when you, uh, is how you move your figure along the board. So if I grabbed that one, I paid my seven buttons, I would move two spaces. Okay? Now, as I cross these little patches, these are like little free single tiles that you can kind of fill on your board. It's a patch. Because you adorable. will get an additional seven points. You'll get an additional seven points if you fill in a seven by seven grid. Now, the... Um, the uh, board is nine by nine. So basically any seven by seven area has completely filled in. You'll get a bonus seven points at the end of the game. I forgot for about that. that. Why oh, did that go black? That was ew. interesting. Um, Nathan, right. I did not see any announcement because I hardly watched the Summer Spectacular. Did you watch any of that? Um, no, it, it's been a completely yeah. hectic and crazy week at work. But no, I have not ever Actually, like for three weeks. <laughs> Uwe was feeling nice when he started you with five points in this game instead of, you know, negative 100. Oh my <laughs> gosh, like Beast Road. And that game makes you depressed immediately. Yeah. And then on top of it, it's like, also, you need to feed your yeah. people. Uh, it's that's like, that's what's so great about why it. Why are we here tonight? Uh, the other thing you can do instead of purchasing something, because eventually you'll not have enough to purchase, and you can only um, acquire one of the three that is in front of this pawn. And as you grab oh, one, yeah. that pawn moves to whichever empty space you just went, and then the next person uh, has the option of the next three. 
Now, as you're moving along, if you're ever not as far as the other person, you can take another turn. So you can actually potentially take two or three turns before the next person does. So that can factor in for which tiles you're actually picking. Because sometimes it's better to pick something that's not as good, but you get two of them before, you know, you say get, get to like a button where you can get generate more buttons and things. So lots of strategy actually in this game quite a bit. In your first game, if you don't have like this button a economy button going first, then you're gonna find yourself like without any money through most of the game. And that means you will not score like very many points at all. That'll probably happen with me tonight, so. The other thing that you can do is you can advance without buying anything to one space in front of the person and get that many buttons. Okay. So in this instance, I would go one, two, three, four. <clears throat> that's me though. I know. I'm always and then you get four buttons. And now again, that's basically your turn and then the next person can go. So that's always an option. And in fact, you probably will be doing this maybe a couple of times or so. Yep. Um, sometimes you can get away with like once. I'm not sure that I've ever played this game without having to do that at least once. Oh, for sure. So that's that. That's uh, that's it. That's the yep. gist of the game. Um, anything else as we go along, we'll kind of discuss. These things can be flipped and turned in any direction, mm -hmm. and they can also be placed anywhere on your board. As oh, well. they don't have to work off each other. Uh, this one they do have to work I'll off each other, remember. but you can start wherever you want, right? Um, Good grief, that's interesting. It's been a while, guys, since we've played this. I know. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Um, while Randy looks that up, I will tell you that this coffee that I'm drinking is I think incredible. You can put it anywhere? Maybe. Oh no, you can't. You it's can, you nutty. It it's got like a Shoot. nutty, earthy taste. Don't remember. And I got it from a local coffee place where he actually roasts his own beans, and it feels so great to buy from there because I'm supporting something local. You know, Starbucks, fine. I'll swing in there, you know. I'm not too... I ain't too proud. Ain't but too proud, if I can support, babe. like, a local place, it feels so cool. And they have amazing food. And now I'm, like, a regular. So when I walk in there, he looks at me and he knows exactly what I want. And he goes to get it. It's so great. I love it. Makes you feel a um, part of something. I, I think you can put them anywhere you want. All right, do it. Hmm. Also, Randy 3D printed me this. I just realized that I, I couldn't remember that. But um, from what I can pink. tell, you can put it anywhere you want. Anybody in the chat now? There you go. If I'm wrong, call me on it. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Uh, do you want to see who goes first? Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Sure. Oh, Would you like to that. go first or would you like to go second? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. I always pick the, the ring. There you hand. go. Okay, hold on a second. I guess the board... Oh, Randy. It's not really a spoiler, Nathan, but yes, please do. What? I guess the well, you're uh, there's a comment there's, I want to read. There, up there. We read that. Comment. I didn't. Oh. I guess the board actually means that you start with, ah, <laughs> right? That's oh my right. gosh! <laughs> May I please spoil the huge game announcements from Dice? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I guess I don't know. Now I feel responsible or something. Hi, Joker. As sounds like you're a regular at the coffee place now. You know they know you. It's so cool. Or would I you, love it. What would you like to do first, sweetheart? I get this blend. It's called the Nicaraguan blend, and it's like kind of lighter. I don't like super bitter. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's so, it's all gone. Um, I will take this. Two Good. time, is that a lot of time? I don't remember what the. Two time is not a lot, but you know, that costs seven buttons. Oh you my gosh. Five, so. And this is eight? That's correct. One, two, three, what? That's all I can take? Or you can just skip your turn and take one button. I'm gonna skip my turn and take a button. Wow! Oh yeah, I did. So I did see the Imperium. Yeah, I did. I saw the Dune Imperium um, expansion. Yes. Dune Imperium Rise of. Yeah, it's coming soon, which looks really oh, cool. Oh, this, why does this sound familiar to me? Dune Imperium. Oh, we were just talking about, but I didn't know that. That's awesome, Nathan. Yes. High five. Yeah, I think uh, I think that one's gonna be really good. Where's the single buttons? This is a monstrosity. Right there. Oh, I'm gonna skip my turn and take a button because I want you to have to take this stupid patch. Is that right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip mine and take two buttons. You dirty little thief. Yeah. I'm going to see. I'm going to skip you and take three buttons. Do it. Can you actually? If you want to. I do want to. I do want to. How dare you challenge me in the so button So you only realm. take two buttons, so. No. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to take the... Oh, I could have afforded it. No? Yes, I took... Oh. 
I want to take the seven. I feel mad. I'm a fake. Really mad. Hi, nerd shelves. Right I'm not that there. mad. Oh no, we broke the game. <laughs> Four, Round six, one. Seven. Of a game about quilts. Boom. And we broke it. Your turn. You can Gee, take thanks, the eight, honey. though. Oh, how many? I go two time. One, two. Two time. Um, I will take that. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I'll be got a license for all this mucking about. Eight. This is six time. That is six time units. <laughs> you are a schmuck. You I'm knew you schmuck. knew that that was gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like I got really <laughs> mad all of a sudden. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Now you cross the button passed. line. I know what I but passed. But you have to pay Let your eight buttons people. first. Oh, first I have to. One, two, three, four, nine, nine, nine. That's all the buttons go away. So, good choice, bad choice, I don't... Flamecraft, that looks interesting. Whoever wins this game wins the marriage. <laughs> wins the marriage. All right, so I the problem here is marriage. I have zero money, so I have to advance. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a button line, so I get a total of eight buttons. Wow. Also, it's coming to Kickstarter August 10th, but it looks super fabulously cute. It's called buttons. Flamecraft. Look it up. It doesn't play solo, but I want it. I want it. But you get Ellen three gets backs. the buttons. Yeah, didn't, why didn't you grab three buttons? Oh my gosh, thank you, Beyond Dead. I said three buttons. You even. said you said nothing of the. Of I said the you sword. passed the button line, and there's your three. You get three buttons. But don't you remember that I don't listen to you when you? That's do. true. Um, that was a joke, Ellen. Uh, and no, debatable. You're up, girl. Look at that guy. Oi! Okay. I'm um, sorry. Getting a little weird tonight. So this is three time units. Yep. And I Can't got the buy it. I got the word units from you. You no this. Oh yeah 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 okay. Get your hands oh, off my Oh don't button. start. So I could take this Wait a minute. one. Don't you only oh. have eight? Didn't you only had, had eight, eight buttons? Yeah. And so I gave you should them all only back, get three. But I crossed the button line. Oh, I'm Man, sorry. I get it. I get girl. it. I get it. Um, I can't do anything <laughs> other than. <laughs> That's funny nerd Oh, what if I go like this as my turn? Go over you. Um, okay. As my turn, it gets a button. That's what you want to do. So you get a total of five buttons for that. What do you mean I get a total of five buttons for that? I get three because uh, I have three in my thing. But you went two spaces without buying anything. Oh. Have I don't think I've ever... Have you played this game it, before? It's been literally probably... If I'm being serious here. All right. One, two, probably three, about three four, five, years six, seven. I played I'm going to buy this... Um, <laughs> Judy and I totally judge our marriage and who wins or loses four games. <laughs> four spaces. One, hey, two, three, four. I four seriously back. almost like quit gaming because I couldn't, Turn. I couldn't control my like anger. In case you can tell, <laughs> I'm a very feely person. I wear my emotions right on out there on our sleeve. That's fine. You're going to know As long as you go as you're wearing them. Babe, you're hilarious. Why do you keep undercutting me and taking my stuff? I'm not undercutting anything. You're skipping and I'm taking stuff. <laughs> okay, um, I want this one, but I can't do it. That's Four, right. You're going to skip eight. again? You've only bought two things and you're halfway no, through I the game. No, I think I'm going to... Um, one thing. I think I'll take this, dude. Wait, let me see which one fits better. You can do that. That is allowed. No, do that. That kind of traps me right there. Guys, what is the accent stuff happening? I'll take this one. I'll spend a button, move up two, and I get to go again. You do. I love that. That's a great little mechanic. If you stay behind the person, you get to go again. That's right. Um, this one costs ten. You still don't have ten. I know. Gold, darn it. You know what is kind of cray cray? I know I can't afford it, but I just want to mess around with that. That's perfect. <laughs> I wear my emotions on my sleeve, but I'm wearing a vest, so I'm emotionless. Is, are you implying that you're wearing only a vest, nerd shelves? That's brisque. <laughs> I'm going to jump over you, okay? Okay. For what? A point? For two. So that's still only nine. There's, so. Don't judge me. see that it helps you too much, but okay. I don't want to have a weird piece. Wait, do I have to connect it off, or can I start down here? Um, did we ever figure that out? I didn't um, see where it said that. We're both going to start trying to lose the game. Seriously, it doesn't say... Does anybody know? Nathan, I feel like you should know this. 
Do I have to start adding quilts to touching quilts? It doesn't or can say I, that like... you have to. Oh, hi, Loopy. It says place a patch on your quilt board. The patches on your My quilt board may not either. overlap. You may turn the patch anywhere you like before placing it. It goes nicely with my mullet. Oh, one of my brothers was trying to grow out a mullet, and I'm just like... Doesn't say anything about you having to match it. Hi. Unless I'm totally missing it. Somewhere. Look at that. Slurs McKenzie says, I looked in the rules, and it doesn't say anything about connecting the pieces. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, wherever. you can place wherever. Okay, you guys are thought. awesome. Look at our chat. I, I thought so. He chat. thought it. He so thought it. So you didn't help us, because I, I already it, thought so it. was. All right? Oh. <laughs> Very gracious. All right, your turn. It is my turn, Schmuck Ellen. pants. I can't do much, so I will do what I can. That would be nice. Oh, don't. Guys, this is a great little game. Boom. Soup's cute. We go three time units. One, One two, two, three. three. Oops. Pass the button. Four. I pass the button. I pass the button test. I can diminish into the west and remain. Galadriel. Um, Loopy is always in the dice tower chats, and we always chitty chitty chat, hang chat on, back Loopy. and forth. Loopy, hang yeah. on. Just got done with the first game of Merchant's Cove. Yeah, Very looks, fun. That one looks cool. I talked with Glory Hound about that on a couple of live streams ago, and honestly, it looks like um, <laughs> that's what all the cool kids are playing. <laughs> Thanks, chat. I found it first. <laughs> uh, have You're you up, considered girl. that this mullet, that his mullet will be both business in the front, party in the back? <laughs> I have <laughs> taken that under consideration. <laughs> uh, your brother's trying to grow a mullet. I, that's what I was saying. Oh. Right, and I'm just like, it. oh. Are you skipping again? Yeah. Babe, just you're fine. Okay. One, two, three. No, I don't think I want You to gotta buy it. some stuff. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I want two here. One, two, yeah. and then I get buttons. Yeah, and you get to go again. So I get three buttons or four? Because I four quieted. Buttons. Oh, four buttons. She gets four buttons. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on, dealing with buttons? Are you paying for stuff ever? You you seem to like not want oh, to pay for Oh, I pay for, for I pay, you pay for buttons. You pay for four back. Oh, so okay. There you go. I'm paying for stuff. Well, you only took four. What are you accusing me of, sir? You, t you have to pay four still. Oh, I do? I thought you said I'd get it right back. You took four, you put it back, and you took it back. So that would be the correct amount. <laughs> This hurts. <laughs> Jeez, I don't understand. Oh my gosh, Gator Dave's here. Oh, uh, Gator Dave, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Gator Dave just made me nervous. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Um, you get to go again. This is the best day of my life. I hope so. You hope so? <laughs> um, okay, I got some choices. Sure. Um, this one looks like a She's a re -buttoner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> you can take that one. Do I want? Oh, I do. Y'all, 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 y'all. One, two, three. Okay. Bang. Boom. One, two, three. Soko. I get That's, this. We go four. This is going to go right, eh? All right. And then I'm going to put a little I'd put it right there. Dude. <laughs> Are um, we going to put it? You have to place it right away, correct? <laughs> You do. That mm. is a rule. That's that is a cool. rule that I am currently aware of, chat. That's the one rule. <laughs> She's a red buttoner or a rebuttoner. Rebuttoner. All right. Wait, what so buttons you aren't up free? To four. Wait, I don't know if you're joking Wait. or not. <laughs> yeah. No double dipping. Because you tried to take it twice. You're like, I take it oh, and I give sorry. it back and take it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I just take it. It's all in the timing. I just take all it. All right. Four spaces for that five unit. That mm -hmm. looks pretty, pretty sweet. Because I like anything that Seriously gives me multiple buttons, I enjoy. Good caffeine. Great caffeine. I bought my son a um, frappuccino without coffee because he's like his father and does not like coffee at all. I'm going to take this one. From Starbucks the other day when we went. I think. And he hated it. Oh, he's like, this has no buttons. flavor and it's literally just like icy chunks. Wait a minute. Wait and a I minute. said, son, you are right. Seven. And that was it. We went I on a bike to ride together. It was super double cute. Double buttons. That's what I'm trying to get. And we found oh, a street. Buttons. We found a street by our house that looked like Harry Potter because it was lined with these like lit, like these little lanterns. It was really cute. All right, I want to buy this one first. How does one survive without go go juice? So thrice um, buttons. Randy probably will be able to answer that. I don't know what go go juice is. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why I threw threw that question um, your way. So I go two spaces. Once, twice, and then I will take... Two, four, six, eight, Oh, see, nine. if I take this one, I can go yet again. And You're I can still go, going? I can go three times in a row. Fooey. 
Randy does not like coffee. I'm not sure we can be friends. How, try being married to the guy. I love coffee. To the guy. Um, you know, I always had visions of like, you know, you, you have your person and you wake up and you make them coffee and it's cozy and you bring, them, you bring them a cup of coffee in bed and so romantic and sweet. And up to three he hates buttons. it. He hates coffee. He won't even have like a bite of ice cream. So if I'm going to go not here. Flavor. I'm going to buy that for one button. Honestly, it's probably better for his health, but who are we kidding? Um, Coffee's the best. I am then going to go... So that's two spaces. You know what, though? I got to say, guys. And I'll take this one. Even though... For one button in five spaces. Randy is not one, a coffee two, drinker. Three, four, He's like trying to play five. the game. And Look at that. Coffee. He one, two, bought three, four, five, me that six. coffee machine. The espresso machine because he knows how much. I love it. Do you really, you guys, take turns bringing each other coffee in bed? You should just bring me coffee in bed. Adorbs. Why don't you ever make me coffee? I. These are not like the greatest pieces. He doesn't care. Using. He's playing a game, and I'm trying to have a moment here. Randy just Randy just lost a few points in my book. Babe, you're losing followers right now. For what? Not drinking coffee. Oh, pisha. We don't want you. Take a guess at what Randy does love to drink, though. It's a hot beverage. I feel like you should know this. Next time on Dr. Phil. <laughs> I had all these romantic ideas about married life, and then I met Randy. <laughs> what if I did something cray cray like that? There oh, we go. That's, that's so cozy. You know, that's when you're watching a movie do. and the guy comes in or the girl, whatevs, and they have a cup of coffee and they bring it in and they're just sitting there and chatting. And it looks so, so cozy. Randy does not bring me coffee. Nope. But he did, like I said, buy me that this. espresso machine and he Maybe. worked to death trying to get the thing to work. Correctly. Work to its full potential. Yes, he did. I had You're to up. sample about 20 espressos and it was not great. Um, hot chocolate is a good guess. And yes, he does like hot chocolate. I do like This hot is the chocolate. thing that he loves to make. It's kind of what you had in mind. Hot chocolate was one of them, yes. But it was kind of what you had in mind to drink so that you could like help share the... It's a steamed milk beverage. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I just wanted to remind you that I went three times before you did. Yeah, well, watch what I'm going to do. Okay. What am I going to do? Do it. Um, This one. No, do it has it. no buttons on it. So? <laughs> Babe, live your life. What are you going to do? I'm going to buy this one. Stop rushing me. Do I it. talked about coffee the whole time, and now you're rushing me. I'm not rushing you. Six. Six. Five? Five. Time units. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I go again. You go twice, yeah. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Sorry, Randy. I was having a moment. Stink. That poor I'm cow. Having a moment. <laughs> <sighs> okay. These buttons go away. For six. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This goes A. I crossed that. Yep. So I get seven buttons. Two, four, six, seven, five, six, seven. They're so cute. You don't bring me coffee, don't let me win games. <laughs> That's your next song, Ellen. Oh, I'm going to put that to music. Uh, since somebody guessed it, I'm just going to say it. I try. I, I like chai, chai a lot. He loves various different kinds of chai. In fact, he just bought a pretty, like, um, big set of them yeah. to try all the flavors. This one has a button. It's, it's also free. Oh, I can't. It's free. I wanted to wedge something in here, You can't though. wedge that there. Definitely can. That won't wedge there. Um, <laughs> I like K cups and I can't deny. <laughs> I like K cups. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, five more time units. Yeah, you like you like them five time units. Fine. Oh. Do it. Or or this one. You've got a good safer. button economy. I do, I, baby. I don't. One, two, three, four, five. I get the patch. Well, no. What? You fall short of the patch. Oh. You, two, you land right four, here. Six, eight, nine. I get nine. Nine. I'll take this and put this back. True. All right. Um, you really know what? I had one. a Keurig coffee machine. I had two of them, and they both died on me. And I know that there was a whole like you got to descale it. I didn't take care of it. Let's be honest. 
but it died, so I bought a new one. It also died. So then I did French press for the longest time, and that was so cozy to like get the kettle on in the morning one. and hear the little whistle. And then I got the Mac Daddy one, of two, all espresso three. machines. I need uh, to make it's proper not the Mac hot. Of all special well, machines. It's, it's a very nice one. It's a very nice one. Slur says I need to make proper hot chocolate again. Stuff is mind blowing if you've got an hour to burn. What? Yeah. What are you saying? Like it takes an hour to make it? Is that what you're saying? You make proper hot chocolate. Stuff is mind blowing if you've got an hour to burn. So like Gator proper Dave. hot chocolate, it's amazing if you can make it. Like the not the powder stuff. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting so old and unhip. You know, I just learned what the word sus was like two, three weeks ago. Yeah. You get, does anybody know what that is actually? Don't tell them. Do you know what, what does sus is? mean, you guys? Come in the on. chat. Everybody knows. I just what learned sus it and I was means. like, what is happening? Why are my kids saying that to each other? Ooh, this is what I want right here and I can get it. Their context was weird too, though, so it doesn't help. So. Oh, it takes a long time to make, and you have to keep stirring and melting. That's so interesting. So two. Hi, Robert. For one time unit. Um, we have a friend named Johnny Figueroa, and he brought us. It's I think it's called three. Mexican hot chocolate, and it's like in these bricks. It's like a brick of hardened, sugary, cocoa-y, with a little bit of spice. Oh my goodness! So you put it. In I'm a cup and then three. pour boiling milk over it and let it um, dissolve, and it was incredible. Like, what the heck? So good. Yes, suspicious. Suspicious. Orange is sus. Okay. Or suspect, yeah. And. I had no idea, you guys. I lost track of it. No idea. What did I. I was here, right? I was like, so why are you I calling me sus, kid? One, two. And I then call my one. kids kid. And then I'm going to spend seven on this one. If you found it in a break, it's not I went three times again. I'm just so you know. You did? Yeah. One, two, three, four, Look five, at your six. board. I know. Chat. You guys are supposed to help me. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's basically eight, nine, sweetened ten. milk, condensed. Wait, wait. Milk plus sweetened condensed milk plus chocolate chips plus thyme. Very cool. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, I have condensed milk in the in the cupboard. I mean, honestly, that Mexican hot chocolate is not it. that much different because you have to use like um, milk or condensed milk or whatever, and then the brick is basically a brick of like chocolate chips yeah. type things, but it's like it's got a little bit of a spice to it. So. Robert, that would be amazing. Yes, do. Gator Dave says Randy is quilting the heck out of that board. You're darn right. Randy's quilting. Randy's a heck of a quilter. I'm a heck of a quilter. Your mother would be proud. Wouldn't she? I, she bought, is a I bought this for so my mother for Mother's oh, Day did. one year. Oh. That was a great present. And I think she took like a year and a half or two years before she played it, yeah, and then she I ended up counts. playing it, I think, eventually. <laughs> um, why don't you read that joke up there? What's that, uh, joke? Nerd shelves. <laughs> nerd shelves. Speaking of buttons, what kind of belly button does a German mechanic have? What kind of a belly button does a German yeah. mechanic have? Think an about the Audi. Words. Did you get it right? I can't imagine it not being an Audi. <laughs> An Audi, yes. <laughs> He's like, an innie. <laughs> um, well, how does he have so much board coverage? Because he keeps taking three bloody turns in one go. That's because you've passed so many times in the I beginning. know. One, two, three, four. I got to stay under the four. So mark. I have, Ellen's been getting a lot of like button one, dense two. items. Yeah. Um, I've been getting a mix of buttoned, of some oh, somewhat shoot. button dense items and big items. So generally speaking in this game, um, everything kind of mathematically works. You know, there's how many buttons... Um, if they cost a lot of buttons, it's probably going to cost less time. The more buttons on it, the more buttons and or time it costs. And then also size-wise. So a 10-button, like, small piece will be four buttons. But then a, you know, a six-button large piece doesn't have any buttons, but it fills up a lot of Oof. space. Because at the end of the game, every kind of this up, space yeah. is, is it minus two or minus one? Oh, this is two buttons, by the by. Is it minus one per empty space, or is it, uh... Maybe I don't know. I think it's minus two, I believe. Oh, come on! Yeah, so every empty space at the end of the game is minus two points. So, this is one of those games that, if you're not quite sure how to play, you you will you can get negative on your first I'm gonna, go. I'm going to no lose hard. So, I, I bought that one for two. Okay. Um... <laughs> Six time again? I can't do this life. Well, don't do that one then. What about this one? One, two, three. 
for two time units that gets me buns and keeps me behind you one more time. Sure. Yes! I have a plan. What is this? Two. Can you get my buttons, please? Yeah. Um, Five, Nathan asked six, something. Seven, you have nine. You get nine buttons. Nathan asked. Have, have you been question. spending? Have you spent yeah. your buttons on those two items you purchased? Um, cost four buttons. For this those one two I don't things. think I did. So you gotta spend four did buttons. Did I chat? Yet? You guys gotta watch. Uh, you guys gotta watch what I'm doing. You know you, I can't. You haven't this. paid for anything. Um, oh, page me specifically. <laughs> <laughs> I get to go over to him. Um, Nathan asked if I'm doing a live chat tomorrow. I uh, think. It, it's, it's in Cat's Court. It is in Cat's Court. In it's in Glory House Glory Court. House so Court. she's hosting tomorrow. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because she canceled last week, right? So it would still be her week yet. It was, yeah. So she said she was going to take over because we, we flip flop. But I, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say yes. Um, New tat around the arm. Yes, let me show it again. Guys, I just <sighs> got to do it. Boom. Boom, baby. Roasted. You know what that is? Hobbit doors. I, know, I was asking the chat. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so it kind of like spirals. See that? Especially when you twist your arm like yeah, that. Yeah, when I do this, it's like, whoa, look so at that So whenever spiral. I twist Ellen's arm, huh? I can see her. I can just say, oh, I'm just looking at your tat. I'm going to add a little bit more flowers to it um, at great, the end of the month. It? And what a great shading. idea. It's such a good idea. Why are um, you twisting my arm? Well, I, just want, I just wanted to see your tattoo, sweetheart. One, two, three. Which one are you going to see? Take? I want to see what's better this... for you. Yeah, I don't if you're going to take that one, one, then this one shouldn't go there because that one can fill up that entire space. Oh my gosh, he's so smart. I'll do this instead then. Psh. Okay. Psh. 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 Look at that, guys. I'm filling my board. Come on now. Get you. Ten buttons. Pay that one. Pay ten buttons. <laughs> Pay that one. <laughs> Did I go past the button yet? No. I didn't. You just went past a button this is over here. The worst here. day of my life. Oh, you're. you're Give me that mouse. People are talking, and way. I need to see what they're saying. You heard something else on this stream tonight, girl. I like the people. You're all over the place. I'm here for the people. You always feel good with a positive score. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no dice tower live streams this week, and I'm lonely. There's no. Oh, probably because they just did yeah, the summer thing. Yeah, because they're doing thing. a break for this. And they're exhausted. Spectacular. Nerd Chef's List. I learned a lot about belly buttons in college. I went to a naval academy. This is good stuff, man. You're doing great. That's really good. One, That's two, three, great. Four, five, six, seven. I'd be one short. <sighs> so the beginning, you have negative 157 points. That's so uwe. Uh, is it uwe or uwe, guys? It's uwe. 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 Yeah. He doesn't care that I say his name wrong every time. I don't know, man. This is a little bit of a... Nerd shelves. You must have lint a lot at the Naval Academy. Oh, I want to think of one. Dang it. There we go. That's what we want. Yep, we're definitely doing that. So we're going to buy... Oh, no. I don't know. There are still Dice Tower Q&As. Um, That's one, two, cool. Three. Oh, shoot. I'm two buttons My boy's short. wicked schmott. <laughs> um... uh, oh, Burgle Bros on live on Wednesday. No, you plug away. I don't care. Whatever. I don't am... bother me none. I am awesome. sad. Uve is always in the chat here lurking and judging us all. <laughs> <laughs> he has nothing better yeah, I don't to know what I'm than do to now. sit in the Kirby stream. I really that one would have been really great for me. Kirby. Really it would have been really great. Guys, this is why I lose on stream because I'm just chitty chitty chat chat like a psycho and Randy's like plaguing the game to win. You oh, don't I have do to win two. every game. I'll do these two. There, this one's not so bad. All right, so I'll do that one for one and seven. Um, I don't have to win every game. You're right. Why does it look so overexposed? It looks blown This out one's again. a little overexposed, yes. It is. Do you want me to so fix annoying. it? Oh, good no, grief. leave it. Oh, my gosh. Golly. Golly to you. Uh, You're going to spend three to move four. One, two, three, four. Go ahead, Ellen. Pass that button. All right, so I only have Five, 12 seven, buttons. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 10 buttons for that. Um, I don't know why it's over. Blown. <clears throat> I hand it right and then. You did. I saw it. My own eyes. Uh, let's see here. This is gonna cost me two time. This also is. This will feel more. Fill more gaps. There's a better one. Are you happy? Yeah. Is it a little yeah. bright yet. It's a little bright yet. One, two, three. I'm gonna buy this, this. schmuck face. In. In game correction. This is four. 
but you win in our hearts. That's right. Ellen truly is a chat's champion. That's yeah! Right. That's what I'm here for, baby. Did you move your space? Nope. Did you One, pay two. for your stuff? I paid for my stuff. I passed the button, so I okay. get five, eight, twelve. That 12, doesn't seem right. like a lot. This that's all I'm is, getting. I'm getting. That's all I'm getting. This, this game is not no no bueno. How do they say it? No bueno. No bueno. Bueno. I, like that. I really wanted that How one. How did you they stole it from me? It actually looks perfect for my end. Oh well, now it looks more perfecter. Cause he fixed way it. more perfecter. Um, what the heck was I gonna tell you guys? Uh, though? It was like a legit. Man, thing. this is. I know. I'm going to have negative 20,000 points. Prob you know what? Probably, actually. Also, why is my board way off in the stratosphere? So, what do I want to do? So, if I took this, that would give me all sorts of negative spaces. So, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. i got 11 spaces yet before. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. I think it's safe to say you're going to fill up that quilt. Yep. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Guys, <clears throat> more perfect -er. We, before the stream, Ooh. like actually right before we had to leave and come straight here, we were on, we were at a meeting. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this yet, but I'm going to. <gasps> Why is this one? On the edge. There is a local convention that is rising up from the ashes. Um, I don't know why I said that, but um, some friends of ours and some that we don't know that will become our friends. They're trying to get a convention going and it's really taking off. And we sat in a meeting tonight, like an advisory board thing and got to kind of see like where they're at with venue and food and logo and merch and all that cray cray stuff. And it is going to be awesome. And they're, they're using like, um, I hate saying stuff like this cause I feel super cheesy, but they're using Randy and I to like I do lure people to the con <laughs> meet yes. local celebrities and play board games with them which is going to be awesome so they have like a special guest table and they also are going to have kane Klenko there i think that is not confirmed um, yet it should be there will be there i thought it was confirmed is it confirmed that's it. i thought i saw in the notes that it was not oh i think you just needed to make sure that he was okay with the um <laughs> verbiage on the kickstarter i thought you're up girl <laughs> um so yeah so they have the website up and everything and I was laughing because they're like, what do you guys think of the website? And then they get to a picture of Randy and I as like the special guest. And I was that's like, that's a Kickstarter. Oh, and the Kickstarter that's page? That's a preview that will go live in September. I don't know any of the facts. <laughs> but they did show us their website too. That was a different thing. Yeah. Anyways, they showed us the picture of us. And I was like, that's so cool. But you're not using that picture. I will send you a photo. And he's like, okay. I'm like, do you see what I'm wearing in that? No. No. You're up. No. Okay. Oh, um, seven by seven. Did you get to seven by seven yet? But it's no. very exciting. I'm super excited Did to be a part of it. I get a seven by seven yet? Rising from the ashes, Phoenix One, Con. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Oh, I need uh, just these things to get a seven by seven. <laughs> Randy's piercing personality. I think we Gen Con is back in Milwaukee? Oh. Question mark. Nah, it ain't Gen Con. It's actually called Strong Tower, and it's put on by a group of Christian guys. I want to do that so I can get this thing. Um, there you go. And so I think there's going to be like. It took a, too long. I rearranged my my board that I just. Bought there's going to be for. like a devotional element to it too, which is really cool. Which is like a um, if you want to, they're not going to force you to do a devotion, <laughs> but it's part of it because that's all the um money's going to Salvation Army, and it's like that's the backbone of the foundation of this thing. Which I'm a Christian, and I'm like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. I'm super excited. When's the last time we've high fived? Right now, baby. There you go. I know. I'm talking. If I go there, that will be bad. But if I go there, that'll be worse. No, it won't. Okay. Bam. Sure. I'm gonna work towards that. In my All life. right. I will probably. Oh, it's six times that though. That won't be coming oh, towards. Pete's that won't be coming to you. Sampras. That locks me in. Do I have to take this piece? I'm like trying to make it well, work. Well, I mean, you need some bigger chunks at this point, so. Are you threatening me? I am. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, that, that's definitely going to pinch me up and I'm going to do that. Yeah? Sure. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so caffeined up right uh, now. Six, I can sense how annoying I'm being. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. You've passed the button line. Yes. I've passed 
pass the button line test. <laughs> five, ten, twelve, One, two, three, four, fourteen. Five, six. Okay, sorry. I'm not. If I buy that, I'm gonna be able to do like nothing else. You must submit. So if I get this 14. one. Fourteen. Did I pay for that button, you guys? Or that thingy? Did I pay for this? What? Hey, 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 humans. Hey, Panic, what's going on? Oh, this stinks. Panic, you would show up right as I'm about to lose. Eight. You would do that. I'll buy this. <clears throat> Let's go one time unit. Um, okay, he's going to be here for a while. So, chat, what's no, going on? I want that one, but I don't have enough buttons. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad. I know, I can't really buy anything else, so uh, I have to pass. Yeah, panic thrives on my losses. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you guys see that white, look at this white hair. All right, your turn. I'm turning into Sodom. All right, um. I think I'm going to have to take that piece that you really wanted, babe. Actually, it probably won't suit me very well. Where would this go? If I took it theoretically, oh, I have to take that. Yeah, that's a good one. Right? You, yeah. At this point in the game, I think you do. Why are you making me feel bad? Why am I making you feel bad? Because you're like, yeah, you're gonna, that's gonna be bad. You have a, you have a, you have Is a that tone what I going on. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, you tone. definitely need to take that so that you don't lose terribly. So let's do three. Can you move me three time units? I'm paying five. Everybody's watching. Paying. There you go. Hi, Charity Board Gamer. How you doing? Raid. Awesome. Raid. 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 Aren't the real board game wins the friends Ellen made along the way in chat? Absolutely. Reverend Dan, 66. Hi, Jaybird. The word. <laughs> one, that two, bird three. video? <laughs> yes, I still get to buy one more thing. She paid. Thank you, Loopy. Thank you for confirming oh, that I paid. I'm going to have everything but one space filled up. I think this is actually going to be my best... Ever patchwork Great. score. <laughs> there you go, Panic. You hear that? It's going to be his best and my worst. All right, you're up. Last this one. This is going to get you through the week, Panic. So one, <laughs> two, three. So you could buy this one and then one more. The instant replay coordinator of this game is really Oh, slimy. no. No, I won't be able to. You're going to be able to buy two. Uh, bye, Nerd Shelves. Thank you for being here. Shoot. Yes, I am. The turntables. Yes. My how the turntables. My how the turntables. My Dang it. Babe, look at what my I know, shapes are, but I should have been able to get this one. I can't do anything with that. Why don't you put this? You gotta put that Oh, up. shoot. Okay, I mean, it doesn't Just matter. Just put it in the corner. Yeah. Do it like that. All right. Um, let's do this. The only thing the you only can thing do. The only thing I can do. Yeah. One, two. Shoot. Gosh. Gosh, you're an upbeat guy. Super supportive. Look at that. Yeah. This is not a board to be ashamed of. These are some good quilting what things. What else? What are you going to buy? This one? Or you know one? I love it, Alan. Yeah, I know. This is probably a better one for you. Okay, I'll buy it right now. This one basically costs you two, though. No, this one's actually whoosh, better for whoosh, you. Whoosh. Well, it's got more squares, so yeah. Well, you it costs more, of... though, which is points. Yeah, but i got to cover this crap up. So... Since there's so... Oh, no. I'm one away. <laughs> one, two, no. Oh, I'm one away from, from getting it. Okay, I'm paying four buttons. Ready? Uh, <laughs> all right. Did you move me and six? And then you get your final button count. Mm, 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 mm. Shoot, Ellen. I'm one away from getting this thing. Okay, literally, I could cry for you right now. Oh, man. One one coin could have saved me five points. Ten, five points less in this game. 16. All right, I got to pass and just 17. take my buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Wow, counting is hard. Fifteen, yep. Okay, there. Hi, right. Kabuki kid. That's <gasps> it. So cool that you're here. Um, Love it. Christy. So I got, I got thirty-seven Hi, minus twelve. Did everybody hear the register? Just like. Mm -hmm. So I got twenty-five. You get 25? Yeah. All right, sure. Panic, you ready for this? Ah, oh, that's really frustrating. These are the points, right? The actual buttons are the points. Yep. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. Minus. Is it two, negative two points? Oh, 29. I got 29. Is it minus, negative two points per two square? Per square. So how many oh, buttons do you Pete's have? for Pete's sake. 37? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. <laughs> he dropped out of human range for a moment. Uh, really twenty-nine know. to twenty-five. That wasn't that far away. Oh my! How do you like that panic? How how do you like how it? Did, panic? If you had to rate the like on a scale from <laughs> one to ten, what would it be? Hey, better half reviews. Hello. Was that a weird moment for you to walk into? <laughs> did, did you answer Jim about the Hobbit dwarf? Oh, healing? yes. I gotta show it again. Every time someone mentions it, I'm gonna show it off. <laughs> Look how huge it is. Like she got the sticker out and she went to kind of put it on my arm, and I it looked big, but like as soon as it was, I was on my arm. I'm like, that's ginormous. Um, the healing is almost a hundred percent. I have a little bit of like, it's it gets itchy still, but um. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. So I'll be adding shading to it at the end of the month. Uh, Reverend Dan, I'm not sure that that was, I think I got ahead of myself on the best. I was more thinking that focusing on that my board would be filled totally up the Reverend most. Totally Reverend Dan. Um, and I was one, one spot away from it. Absolutely. Right. That was cool. Hey, Kabuki. Hey, Chrissy. So that's patchwork. Hey, Honestly, panic. it's relax. It's relaxing as heck. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, yeah, Pet Carey that, just, Patchwork is super good. It's, it's a really great uh, two-player game for sure. Will the Kirby clan be at any cons this season? So the only, um, so we'll be good probably question. at a local con or two possibly. Um, and then we are just, we're just going to the uh, Dice Tower Retreat, the one in Orlando, yes. or not Orlando, excuse me, Miami, Miami. in September. Miami, Florida. My quilts are never that nice. Um, can I tell you something about uh, September? I'm super excited because, like, Randy, Randy said, did an end zone dance before giving an end zone. A little bit, a little bit. I thought I forgot that she could get one more thing. Yeah, that's all right. We are going to the Dice Tower retreat. I'm super excited about it. Um, Chrissy, who was in the chat, we just said she was. Yeah, get it out of get it out of my life. She was like, I'm going to this con. And then I was like, I'm taking along. And then I invited Randy, so I crashed Chris's we are going to a con -con. Uh, party, but she's yeah. super excited. Yeah, a con, -a -con. Which is, is going to be like a little 40 person or thing that uh, yeah. a friend of ours is putting together. So we're a part of it's like a, cool. um, a local board game group through Facebook, and that's how we've met like a lot of people. Um, did you say, I was just like, and some of the guys who are in that are getting together this little thing. I think what they're going to do instead of renting out a venue is just do it at people's houses. So they'll kind of go from house to house over like a weekend. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I think there's something like that. Yeah. Games. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And then the convention I was mentioning earlier, the Strong Towers one, that's very much in the works, is for 2022. And it's going to be, if anybody's in the chat that lives around here... I don't know if anybody is. In the southeastern Wisconsin be, area. Yeah, it's going to be in Brookfield. It, it's going to be at the Brookfield oh. uh, Conference Center, yes. So Brookfield, yeah. Very fine. Um, and I'm excited to get some, like, merch. Like, they're going to have some t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. So there's this song, okay? And he's talking about merch in the song, but he says Merc. And I know he's talking about merch. Is it Merc Wait, or Merch? Million, Million Dollar, dollar Merc. I'm probably talking about, like, about a Mercedes, I would, I would imagine. Well, oh, I thought he was talking about merchandise. I was picturing like board game t-shirts. I think he's talking about like a Merc, like a Mercedes. <laughs> that's no what, way! That's how they say Oh my gosh! Merc. Guys, I don't I'm know. so not I don't cool. know for sure. I don't know the song well enough. Million dollar but, board game um, Merc I don't know if, t-shirts? Oh yeah, they do have the dates. Hmm. Tycoon to I don't remember the dates. 40? I'm terrible. It's in, um, I want to say it's in September, isn't it? In September? Like 26th or something like that? What? The the which one? The, um, the con? The, the Strong Tower? Yeah. Isn't it like the 2022 you know, like the 26th? of... Is it September or like November? September I thought it was like September 26th. We're going to be there, so we should I'll probably know. Um, can you give me the mouse again? This is my million one joy in life. If they're paying a million dollars for a mercenary, <laughs> they might be paying too much. <laughs> is Merc a mercenary? Merchantile? Please buy my million dollars. Oh, it be Merchantile? I don't know. <laughs> million dollar t-shirt with board I, no, I, I don't know the song well enough. It's um, Andy Minow, and he's actually he's a rapper, but he's a Christian rapper, um, which I know... Like it's made fun of a lot. He's got some. That's he's the got some Christian really rap fun. song that you're yeah. listening to. That's what that's from. Yeah. No, that's probably why I don't know very well. <laughs> but it's good. You know what? I kind of. Nice. I do like. Um, I like the cadence of rap. Sometimes it's just really fun to like to hear, and I talk really fast too, so it's a fun thing to like for me to sing with. But a lot of times, rap I feel has a tendency to be a little bit inappropriate. 
Maybe that's just me being um, prude. I don't know. But so I found this Christian rapper guy and uh, he's got some fun music, so I like it. Almost John Gets Games level hand speaking, Ellen. Wait, what? Uh, John Gets Games uses a lot of hand motions Does when he he's really? talking about stuff. <gasps> yeah. He's very, That's awesome. Uh, very hand motion. Um, let's see, house to All right, house so on a two-player game, just real quick, um, yeah, you like don't that. use all the cards in, um, <laughs> you only use the entire deck when you're playing six players. Otherwise, you randomly pick out six of each vegetable. I'll be at my house or work or maybe park. Just come by and play games. That's pretty much what it is. I think there's just, it's like a house to house thing and people are opening up rooms of their homes for like various times of the day. As far as what I, how I know or what I know. <gasps> uh, never heard Christian speed metal. That is strange to hear. <laughs> I'm not sure that I've ever heard that either. Conversion to the cove. How many followers do we need to start a sister channel called We Rap Together? <laughs> you know, actually, the way <laughs> that I heard about have. this Christian rapper is somebody called me a narcissist. And um, just online, like, whatever, who cares? And yeah. my sister sent me this song that's, oh, what's it called, Randy? It's Andy Mano. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. I sing it all the time. Uh, none, of, none of my business. Oh. Look yeah. it up. It's called None of My Business. And it's basically talking about, like, if someone wants to make fun of you, that's their business. And as soon as you take that on and start reacting to it, then it becomes your business, which is actually kind of funny. It's like, yeah, that's kind of true. So they sent me that. Like, that's none of my business. Yeah. So. Anyways, Tommy hi, Miller. Tommy Miller. Uh, yeah, we're just about to play um, Point Salad. So uh, we just got finished playing Patchwork. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah, we are now playing... A quick game of points. Salad. The Clyde three three man says use the whole deck. Are we supposed to? No. Oh, that I would don't be know. pretty wild for a two player game, though. <laughs> We're not that crazy. Okay? <laughs> it's pretty late. <laughs> oh, we don't get I mean, this crazy till after midnight. No, never. <laughs> um, Panic says he played this game online recently. Mm. Panic is so cool. He does everything cool. Panic is the coolest person ever. I forget what I said about Jeremy. Jeremy left us right away. Stupid Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. What a, what a dummy. Nice. Vegetable said with four syllables. Impressive. Did you say vegetables? <laughs> Vegetable. I believe Vegetable. I did. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law says comfortable like this. Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. I'm like, who are you? Does anybody else say it like that? Comfortable. Uh, Luthi wants to know how Tommy's work day was. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if someone has like a grocery list in the chat, the Rurik box of the expansion, yeah, continue the cool? picture is so weirdly satisfying. Isn't it fantastic? Gee golly, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I can't stand it. You gotta play that one live again. That one's so good. Uh, Tommy's work day was not too bad. He got some stuff done after work that he needed to get done, like uh, send uh, the Google router back. So you did stuff after work. What did you do for actual work, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're dodging the question. <laughs> uh, let's see. We do it all player counts. Makes the scores crazy. I bet. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can imagine that. That's Bye, Panic. Thanks for being here in time to see me lose. <laughs> Keep telling me how cool I am. <laughs> Tourniquet is an old Christian thrash band. I what? believe oh, I've heard so that so before. Oh, that so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> how do you say? Pajaminamas. 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 Uh, pajamas. <laughs> Is it pajamas? Pajamas. That's how, how I say it. it pajamas. Saying? Total dodge, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get. Oh, who some do you, do you want to go first since you lost the last one? <laughs> Rude much? Oh, look how tiny it looks on there. Yeah, it's so small. It's so little and cute. So adorable. He's so little. Okay, All right, sorry. Ellen, what do you want? Point card or two? You know, babe, Oh, so I should explain this. So, um,. You take out as many cards as you happen to have for player counts. This plays anywhere from <coughs> two to six players. And on your turn, you will either take two vegetables or one point card. Take the cabbage. So juice. these are um, all sorts of. It's not, no, it's not a left handed mouse. It's not. See? Bam. What? Um, yep, yeah, so you do one or the other. And these points, so things will kind of, Chats every mine. game will have a different kind of scoring. And the scoring all has to do with collecting the 
vegetables. Yes. Or the vegetables. And uh, for instance, this one is three cabbages. I'll show you this real quick. Three cabbages. You get or three points for each cabbage. Minus one for lettuce. Minus one for carrots. So obviously you would be trying to avoid <laughs> these two Jim. and getting this. You get as many point cards as you want, or as many uh, of the vegetable cards as you want. And to figure out, you know, whatever you think is going to be the best score yeah. for that particular game. It's kind of like a sandbox of vegetables. It is. You can really do whatever you want. Very sandy. It's very sandboxy type game. Um, right. Jim, did you switch from Facebook to YouTube? I noticed that the little thing, it doesn't matter, but I was just curious. So that one you would really like want. Nerd. So mm. I'm going to definitely take one from this row. Mm. You're mean. Look Thank at these you. lovely pears. Why these. wouldn't you take the pears? Let's take these. The pear... Of onions. Um, also, once per turn, you can turn over one of your point cards into a vegetable card if you wish. Oh, does he really? I feel like I'm watching Wall Wallace and Gromit. You also it's get Wallace a little preview vegetables. of what's coming up next because whatever is on the corner here is what is coming next. That's also what you would get if you f decide to flip one of your point cards on your turn. Oh. All right, cool. Yes, Jim, I totally noticed that. I was going to say something a little while ago and I forgot about it. Um... You gonna take those onions? You love onions. I do. You take that cabbage point? Sauteed onions. The lettuce. Caramelized onions. <gasps> pickled onions. You love pickled onions. In fact, those look like pickled onions. Hi, Elena. Hi, Ben. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good Whoa, evening. Whoa, who's that? That sour, that sour bobo. bobo. It's been a hot minute. I haven't seen you in a while. It does not bobo. blend with our current <laughs> background that I'm the using. Your name showing up in our chat is like, <laughs> Gotta get on you can kind of not even see it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Head banging maniac. Ouch. This reminds me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Gotta get on a diet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like Granny wants you <laughs> to eat the onions. Okay, I got to think here. <sighs> oh, blimey, governor. I dare you forget me. <laughs> I'm going to take um, some onionese. Take the onionese. Onion, onion, onion. Who says it like that? Onion, Wait, onion, don't tell onion, 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 onion. Who says it like this? Onion, 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 onion. Anybody? Go. Ellen a does. game with an Ellen says it like that. I'm going to take this. Uh, <sighs> this. I'm Try glad you're doing well, Ben. Well, blimey, governor. How dare you forget me? I already did that. Oh. <laughs> did you say it like that to you? I did. How about the local sports team? Randy could probably talk about that. Yeah, I don't know the what local you're sports about. team. <laughs> I don't it's do more sports. about the local sports team's management. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on? I don't even know. Uh, there's all this crap about whether Rodgers is coming back this year. Oh, I heard something about that. Yeah. Oh, Chrissy, the lettuce strategy is the only way to go. That's what you're taking? <laughs> Hoping to get them peppers, huh? I love it. Yeah, baby, you want some peppers? Interesting. I'm going to take this one. Going. Billy Idol. Points to Ellen. She started it, Randy. <laughs> um, the first time I played this, you guys, we showed up for the night before we left for the cruise. So we landed in Fort Lauderdale and we played with Jordan Schoenberger, you, me, and some guy named Chuck, who was so nice. Like, he just made me <laughs> laugh. I don't know why. If he wasn't even being funny, maybe I'm mean. He just, there's something about him where I was like, I just like watching you talk. He was just a fun guy. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm weird. Okay, um... Yep. Why I, would you not take these peppers I from me? These. You're responsible. I know. I know. I give you a lot of bloody points. Guys, I had sautéed. I might regret that. Peppers tonight in a main meal. What was the main meal? Guess. Also, the onion well, thing we'll see, is um, um is a. Uh, come on, you know. Onion onion onion. Who says it like that? Uh, I don't remember. Actually. Douglas Heffernan. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. King of Queens, baby. King of Queens. Sauteed pepper casserole. No, that sounds not great, though. <laughs> oh. oh, hi, James Hamilton. Says, my oh, current my vegetable Hamiltons. game of choice is Abandon All Artichokes via BGA. Oh, interesting. That's a cute name. Pierogi. Oh, I love pierogi. I like pierogies. Nathan. King of Queens, yes. Billy Spencer. Bam. King of Queens, nailed it. Also, fajitas nailed it. Fajitas was correct. Not sauteed pepper pie. <laughs> sauteed pepper pie. What kind of diet are you eating? What you got, girl? You gonna take um, them onion pears? Onion pear? The, the onion pear point card? Oh, yes. I was yeah. just predicting. Predictable. Um, pierogies remind me of ve uh, Veggie Tales. There's never, ever, ever, ever been something like Veggie Tales. Yeah. All right, you're up. Um, the Veggie Tales has a Christmas album out. I mean, it's 
probably 20 years old. It is one of my absolute favorite Christmas <laughs> albums ever. Every single song is so fun to harmonize with. All right. Um, I got to think about my life. Think about my choices. Um, you got a lot of great choices out there. There's onions. If I dig this one right here, I can work on... You got, the, you got another set of eight right there if you, oh, can, why? If you can manage it. You're not going to let me have that fool. Maybe. Fool of a took. I don't know what I'm going to let you have. I haven't decided yet. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Definitely going to take that tomato. Hi, Timon. And I think I'll take this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Kabuki. Kabuki says, I used to love my Muppet Christmas album when I was little. Turn. I grew up watching that movie, and we knew every single line. It's so good. Oh, my goodness. All the music in that movie is so good, and I freaking love Michael Caine. You do. As Ebenezer Scrooge. That is true. You love Michael Caine. He's so darling. Like, he just makes my heart hurt. Anyways. Um, Chrissy had the Chipmunks Christmas album. That was, that's a cute one. That's a cute one. Um, but yeah, Muppet Christmas Carol is just phenomenal. Your turn. No. Okay. I'll take these two. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes. We definitely need the onion. Look at that. Oh, that's good too. Eight points are there, baby. All right. There should be a game called Point Meat. Not interested in salad. Um, <laughs> I feel like I need to take that onion from uh, you because I'm going to get you other eight points. Not a lot of people know that. You got a lot of good point cards. Michael Caine. I don't... If I had a favorite actor, it would be Michael Caine. I, I think I have to take this, though. I think we've talked about this online. Right, turn. Oh, no, I talked about it with um, Glory Hound, who our favorite actors were, and I was telling uh, you that yeah, you always make fun of me for loving yep, old and I, dudes. And I said it on the chat. Like you were in love with him. <laughs> it's just so You cool. got to take that onion. What? Look at this. This is this is five points. That's true. You were the trying onion. to lead me down a path of destruction. Well, sir. seeing as the onion's eight points, I thought you'd want to take that. <sighs> oh but shoot! Okay. Should I? Yeah, I should, because that completes the set. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This this feels right. I watched the Muppets Christmas Carol every Christmas. Um, Kabuki also had chipmunks. It's a good one. Guys, one of the versions of the Muppet Christmas Carol, I can't remember. So you know the song, The Love is Gone? Um, but they, yeah. Why did they take that out? Did they take it out of like... I don't know. Then they re-put it back in like the extended version. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, this is a heck of a thing. Ellen, your passion is cartoon Christmas. He's like, yes! Uh, thank you, Chris. Chrissy and I had a long talk about what our passion was the other day. Look and I was like, this. I don't know. Getting another eight points. Yes. I think you're gonna smoke me in this game. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. The love is gone. The love is gone. The sweetest dream that we have ever known. You know what I'm talking about? And then they took it out of the movie. Idiots. It's such a good song. Um. He was a cassette with the Sesame Street Christmas special on it. Great stuff. Oh man, come on now. I'm feeling all cozy. Mm. Michael Caine is always good, even if some of the projects he picks are dreadful. He is my favorite Albert in the Batman, any Batman movies. He's the best butler. The best. I got really serious about that. Best Jerry, the best. I like the lesser known Muppet Christmas special, A Muppet Family Christmas. I've not seen that one. We also used to do um, Muppet Wait, no. Treasure Island. That was a good one. Albert? Yeah. Wait, did I, what did I say? Isn't Albert right, the butler? All right, I want to do this. He is so not here from Turn. this chat. Randy doesn't care about you guys like I do. Albert is a butler. If I remember, it was taken out for time. That was a dumb choice of theirs because that song is beautiful what, and What version did they take it out It makes on? you just, On the oh, TV version? Is I that think so. The love is gone. And when she sings, her nostrils go from here to here, and it's amazing. She's like, <laughs> oh, so good. Turn. Um, I ain't got no carrots. That would be two, four, six, eight points if I took Lovely. this. The sweetest dream. <sighs> what did I say? Alfred? Oh, I said Albert. Did I Turn. say Albert? <laughs> Alfred. He's the best. The best butler. The best, okay. Jerry, the best. Ready? Yeah. Chrissy, obviously we didn't go let a strat. 
<laughs> oh, am I picking? I was able to get the final complete Are we still tubs. taking yeah. stuff? Oh, for pitch's sake. Till take, don't you take them till they're gone? Yeah, let's, yeah. You take oh, them till all they're right. gone. So this is not, this is pointless. This gets me two points. It does. I feel like I just railed on you with this game. I don't know, because I did get um, 10 hey, points. Brad Bruce 10 points at the end. We are well. Thanks for being here. Alfred Pennyworth. Is that actually his last name? Uh, yeah. Oh, Alfred. Yeah, it's not... Albert. I don't think I knew. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Michael Caine. I did you a, dis a, a disservice by calling you that. All right, on. What you got? Hi, Dennison. Thank you. I got for each pair. I get five. I wonder five, how that ten, Pennyworth 15, show went. Twenty. There was a Pennyworth show. Was Michael Caine in it? That's all you care so about. Watch Two, it. four, six, eight. Have you guys nine, seen that ten, old 11, movie 12, with? Um... Are you counting your points? No, I'm talking. Interesting. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Have you guys seen that movie that's called Too Late the Hero? And it's like an old war movie with Michael Caine? That's a good one, too. Minus okay. two. Okay, let's see. Um, the onion, and then... Right, you know I don't count. Ten. Thirty, forty, fifty-three, fifty-one 30, 40, 51 points for me. It's got a second season? I don't know anything about this. All right, what do you got? So you got a pair for eight. What? Set for eight. You got... Hold on, KK. I'm going to answer that in a second. 32, so it's, you're at 40, 50, 60, okay. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. Who knew? Salad. Salad you know, was it for me. I, I thought you'd blow me away. I destroyed you, you sir. Got, yeah, you got some crazy good draws for sure. I wasn't even paying attention. I'll stop. Gosh, I'm so naturally good at salad. Stop. I actually Keep had salad their, for um, lunch today. Keep them in their things. Oh. We'll probably play another one. What time is it? 9.22? Do you want to play yeah. one more? Set it up while I talk. Da -da -da. Interesting. Oh, Chrissy says, math. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Chrissy was at her house one night, and we were playing Terraforming Mars, and she had this strategy where... You didn't have to spend money for cards or something like that. It was some crazy thing where, like, what? why would you not keep every card you can get? Oh, no. So she, she got had, to sell cards. Huge amount um, of cards. She... Every card she bought was only a dollar, so it's basically, yeah. since it only costs a dollar, there's no reason not to get rid of them because like, you can always sell them later. Right. Yeah. So we were playing Terra Mars, and we're in the thick of it. I'm talking, we're three hours in, it's a four-player game, and she's doing this and talking to herself, and, and, and somebody <laughs> talked to Chrissy, and she looks up, and she's like, math, math. <laughs> so now for every game we say math when we're getting like stressed or trying to count. It's Chrissy's or birthday today, by the way. You didn't say happy oh birthday to her. Oh my gosh! Well, I sent her a Marco Polo. I'm sorry, Chrissy. Guys, it's Chrissy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Chrissy! A beautiful friend. Yep, and she's coming over tomorrow. And Chrissy, you get to pick the game because uh, it's, your, it's birthday. your birthday. Day after. Well, day after, but it's your celebration of your birthday. Yep. Absolutely. Ooh, Jaws board game. I want to try that one. I think it looks interesting. No, I think he was talking about... Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Else, I was talking about Michael Caine and yes. Jaws uh, the Revenge. You were talking about Michael Caine. He was. Interesting. Or she... Kabuki Kid. I still have no idea who Kabuki Kid is. She's a she's a, a lady, Ellen. I didn't know for sure. The <laughs> secrets surrounding that name. I have no idea. Remember when you got talking about it in a live chat I remember chat when once? it got like revealed. Like, I don't, not revealed. And we're but like, you know who what I mean? like, is Kabuki Kid? Yeah, it's like amazing. a year or two ago. I funny. love that intrigue. <laughs> um, I broke down and bought Jaws the board game this weekend. Is it actually fun? Is it in the same caliber as Top Gun? Where it's like kind of goofy, but also like soups fun? <laughs> yes, Ellen gets so her usual well 20 bonus. Points mm, for reasons, yes. I just destroyed Dustin in a game of Sonora, it felt so good. I actually don't know what that game is. The heck, Chrisley! But congratulations, you deserve to win on your birthday. Are you sure he didn't let you win because it's your birthday? Oh, that would be mean. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing an interview with Michael Caine where he said he never turned down a script, so he has done some dogs, but he's always gotten paid. Are you serious? Yeah, he's but he's that guy's in, a baller. Like, everything. He doesn't care. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. Whatever. He's just cool. <laughs> it's like cool. He's just like mean, and I like it. Good night, guys. See ya at Furnace. 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 Sorry, sorry, Mirren. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's Kaburki. Kaburki. Kabu. It's her mom's birthday too. I can't say Is that words. What you're trying to say? Yep. There you go. <laughs> Chrissy's 23. Yep. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, you're such a babe. Chrissy's younger than I am. Happy natal day. <laughs> Ain't never heard that. Pick Twister. Aw, <laughs> oh, this is cute. You guys are so nice. Everybody's saying happy birthday. Oh, Chrissy's older than I am. 
Oh, I didn't know that. She says, I'm 39, but told all the kids at summer camp that I turned 23. <laughs> They don't know any difference and they believe me. Because kids <laughs> at that age, once you, you're like, you you get past the age yeah, of 16. Yeah, you might as well be 60. You're like an adult and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Chrissy tried to get them to play a co-op game. She knows I won't. I don't, Chrissy doesn't love co-ops either. I think you like them more than me, but. You know me, he would never, yeah, he would never let you in. He would be so mad if he did for you. Um, Kabuki Kids says, I was just at a job a couple years back when someone thought I was 20 years younger than I was, oh, and geez. I never corrected him. That's, That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. The comment that I get sometimes is, people can't believe how many kids I've had. Um, just because, I don't know, I'm 33, I have four boys, I guess that's a lot. I had my first kid when I was 20. Turn. Whoops. Oh, I guess babe. I just flipped Hello. Over. Whoops. Hello, governor. <laughs> I flip them first. And then I can see. That's crazy. Like 20 up. years younger. That's amazing. <sighs> what do I want to do here? <laughs> Should I go full onion? Yeah, young mommy. I got married young and I'm had gonna, them babies right I'm away. I'm going to go onion. Turn. Um, there was one guy at the airport. He saw me with Wesley. He's like, oh, you got a baby. I said, yeah, I, I have four sons. He goes, you have four babies. He, well, how did he say it again? You, you have, have four, four kids up out of there. I was like, yep, I had four kids up out of there. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. It was funny. Very nice. Let's see. Coon says, I'll bring Mansions of Madness on Thursday, and you have to play it. I have a roast in the oven on Thursday. <laughs> sure. I just can't handle people telling me what to do. Uh, I'm going to tell you what to do. Tell you what to do. What to really Them cabbages do. worked out for me last time. Yeah. I'll get on a cabbage train. Turn. You know, we tried playing, um, uh, what's it called? If you want cabbages, five points per cabbage. <sighs> Chrissy, I'm going cabbage strat. Um, Cab strat. I tried Cab playing strat Spirit strat Island either. because that's supposed to be like one of the best co ops out there, and I. Hate it, and every second of playing it, I was and I was trying to be nice because the guy brought it over and he was super excited to play. So I was like, "Yeah, that's really." So on my turn, I was like trying to act like my brain wasn't melting out of my ears. Which one? Um. Uh, don't you? Oh, Castell. Really taking that? No. Uh, no. Um, Spirit Island. Oh, uh, Spirit Island. Oh. Horrible. What are you taking the horrible game? tomato for? Hey, because you never know what life's gonna bring you. Well, I need the tomato, so. Oh, perfect. Um, I love mansions, Sloopy says. Ben is uh, laughing. Ha ha. The only co-op games I think I like are Pandemic Legacy, Paleo, and Fury of Dracula. Um, Pandemic, Rapid Response, the real-time game, co-op is really fun. I tend to actually be okay with co-ops if it's real-time. Right? Roger. Kabuki loves Spirit Island. I know. So many people do. I think it's all right. Chrissy says, I've seen Allie get up and leave for a bit, dear. <laughs> 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 Go up. I can't. Oh, my gosh. The Clyde Three Man. That's an interesting name. I need the story of that name. Um, we played Atlantis Rising at a con, and there were six people involved. And Chrissy was there. And one of the girls there, she was a lovely person. Like, I, she wasn't being True. mean. She just was so into it to the point where she was like leaning over the literal table. Like her body was like right here and I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> sure, you can do that. And then of course they're telling me what I should do. And I was like, fine, just do whatever you think is best. I'll yep. just sit here and drink my coffee. Sure. But actually we were playing with Jeremy Howard too, that game. He loves that yeah. game. He's like really into it. Yeah, he likes it a lot. I feel like everybody kept getting mad at me because my choices were dumb. <laughs> What does it say? Five mm -hmm. points for missing veggie type. How so many am I missing? You're missing three, so it could be up to 15. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna take that crap. You just. Oreos and Definitely gonna what take does that this. What does that mean? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Hi, Martin O'Brien. Um, Happy you're here with us. Also, I like your name. Um, Yeah, Spirit Sorry? Island just grinds on Jim Garner, too. He wants to like it, but just can't. Same Z's. I would like Hashtag to try Orleone Invasion. I heard that it's like a lot of people's favorite way of playing Orleone. Okay, Kabuki, the, absolutely. Just the co-op version of Orleone. Yeah. Yep. I don't want to ruin that game for me, though. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. another cabbage for you. I mean, honestly, really getting. Really getting. Um, Kabuki says I grew up playing D and D, so I guess I was primed to handle cooperative games. I feel like that absolutely goes hand in hand, and I did not do D and D. I need the tomato. I guess we'll any game them. I did play as a kid was definitely like, you know, we were all fighting because okay. we were siblings, and I'm competitive, so. Did you see Stella's preview of the new Architects of the West Kingdom expansion? Yeah, um, it looked good. You did see it? It's good. I didn't see your video. Why didn't you share it with yeah. me? Yeah. Stella always gets her hands on them like first because she's in Australia with uh, where, Shem, where Shem is. Shemmy boy? I call him Shemmy boy. Shem, Shemalicious. That's where we're at. Shemalemma. Oh, all right. Fewest tomatoes. I feel like I want to murder you again in this game. You think so? I want to salad murder your I face. I think I'm doing pretty good, though. Um, hi, Soul V. Kaber. Does Atlantis Rising suffer from alpha gamers? Yes. I mean... Oh, here you go. What do, what do people say? Depends on the group you're with. Are you going to eat the fewest cabbages? But yeah, I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say Cabbage absolutely yeah. I was just like, do, do what you think's best. I can't. Fewest? <laughs> What are you trying to you do? Pro you probably could get the peppers. If uh, I take peppers. this, you're probably going to take the peppers. Um, no, I will be taking a tomato. Fine. I'm taking this banking on the fact that you didn't just lie to me in front of chat. Do you have, for the fewest, do you have to have at least one? Or you just have, like, a zero is none, I would think, right? Oh, headbang maniac. What I'm so of? glad. Say that again, sorry. No, I won't. You just keep talking to the chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Babe. It says fewest. Fewest. I, I have mean, the fewest. Be I'm talking about this one, oh. right? Relax, man. Yeah, you would get that. That's seven points. I want to take it. Why did I tell him that? I should have lied. All right, what are you going to take? I'm going to take a pepper. A pepper and uh, a pepper. Okay. Because, oh, shoot. You should take the tomato so I don't get the points. Yeah, you're right. right. Um, but you're going to get minuses. Fun carrots. of a biscuit. I get minus two for the carrots. That stinks. Magic right. maze Mayo. is the most stressful. I hate that game. I can't even, I can't handle the art. I can't handle the visual. It actually hurts my eyes. That red gavel thing, I feel like burning it. <laughs> for which one? Magic maze. Oh. Randy and I legit get in fights with that one. Well, not him, I do. Destinies, if you haven't played it, do it now. Is that co-op? A Touch of Evil co-op is great. I never heard of that. I got 50. I got one less than last time. All right, here time. we go. You're my counter-upper. Okay, what do you got? Two, four, six. So we got five of them, so that's ten. Yep. And then... For fewest, it's okay to have 18. zero. Okay. And minus two. Thanks. Five for Hi, each ben. missing type, which is ten. Fewest tomatoes, just seven. Yeah, for odd and, and even, you need at least one. Okay. So you've got 28, 38, 36, oh. 43, 51. <gasps> did I beat you again? You did. Oh, wait, did you count my negatives? Yeah, I did. You beat me by one point. I am awesome at salad. Because you took that stupid tomato from me because mm. I told you to. Although you probably should have yeah, figured yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You beat me twice. That's right, baby. Look at that. <sighs> Does this freak people out? Ooh. It bothers me because you have to Ooh. split them. Thank you. Thanks for making my job harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. She's right. It depends on the group. Thankfully, we don't have an alpha in ours. We're looking forward to the Atlantis Rising expansione. Yeah, I think that's a huge... Um, thing that's needed. Oh my gosh, look at what Kabuki Kid said. Uh -oh. Magic Maze makes one of my friends go crazy. He starts slamming that pawn down like a loon. <laughs> I don't. I literally go like this. Because I screamed at you to right. stop banging no. you on the table. I just went... Here's... You, you can't stand if it's tapped once, Ellen. Magic Maze is kind of ugly, yeah, it is. Oh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> wear tinted lenses. Really? I'm gullible. If you're joking, I Tinted will lenses never. For what? I will never know. Um, I think for Magic Maze. Here's the thing about Magic Maze. It's so you don't see the red pawn. Is that what it's? Oh, maybe. Oh, babe. I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. Um, the red pawn thing gets banged on the table when you're not supposed to communicate to somebody that there's something they can do, but they don't see it. So it's like your way of being like, oh, I'm seeing something you can do, and I'm like, yeah. If I saw it, I'd obviously be doing it. 
and I don't see it. And then when they start slamming more, it's like, oh yeah, stressing me out and slamming no, it on the just, table is gonna make me see just it. Saying, look at it, look. But like when somebody puts it in front of you, you need to look at every person and see which ways they can move. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play that live. Chrissy, which one? We're gonna play Magic Maze live, and you can see. That's a good How idea. stressful it gets. Yes. Do you guys want to see me ticked off? Chrissy said we should play that tomorrow and see what happens. Yes, Chrissy, make Ellen play. Make Ellen play. It's your birthday. <laughs> you get to. Do, I mean, if it gets awkward here, you asked for it. So Destiny said the games were two times a pass in both. He should have. Should have got it. <laughs> Fuse yeah, is really Fuse fun. Is fantastic. Yes, KK. Totally. Ellen likes Fuse. Yes. Ellen, we all we've we found out that any. I think you said that right. Yep. Any real time. Real time, real -time games, games are great. I don't know what that is. But Magic Maze is real time. Co-op. But I want to burn it. But you just don't like the stupid... I think you would be better at it. Now that we have the play mat, so because then, like, it wouldn't tap. Hi, Dajiota. Dang, You just hate the noise. That's why you hate it so much. Oh, my gosh. It's everything. The But it's so I think you would like, like it a lot better. Oh, stop. I think you like it a lot better. I'm okay, saying, Chrissy, I'm maybe saying right now that you'll like it better. Fine, we're going to play it live. <laughs> you guys can see me get so mad. I watched that Magic Maze Fury. Oh. <laughs> she hey, she said Yoda. I meant point salad, not Magic Maze. She's like, no, oh. no. <laughs> Not Magic Maze. Chrissy's seen me walk out before. We can play points out. Anger. I'm so sorry. It's your day, Chrissy. Just don't play anything we really don't want to play. Just if you if you pick a bad game, we're not going to invite you over next time. Oh, uh, Nathan, <laughs> Nathan gave, says that you, uh, it's just because you don't like the silence aspect. Because you talk like Are you trying to tell me that I talk too much? Sometimes I always go back and I listen to the sound for yes, these videos. Yes, Robert. We have played Sorcerer today. Yeah. I think we've, have we played that one live ages ago? We did. Yeah, I think, I think Robert, the, we played that one age. Oh, that's right. Yeah. James was in the chat, correct? James was in the was in the chat. The chisnap. Um, but that's a that's that's a fun. You know I what like I'm just you know what I'm disappointed about Sorcerer City. I'm just gonna say it like it is. I'm just gonna say it like art. it is. It's not pretty. I'm sorry. The yeah. box cover when we opened it, I was like, yes, there's pink in it, and people are starting to introduce more pink in games, and I love that. And then you open it, and the inside looks nothing like the cover. It's very, like, um, dull, muted tones, like earthy tones. But the box is, like, electric and, like, pink lightning. And and then you open it, it's like, meh. Yeah, the, like, the actual tiles for, like, connecting the colored cities. It's I just, guess it could have a little I bit just, more to it. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be recognizable. You want it to be recognizable so you can quickly move stuff. Yeah. Because it is real time. So I understand that, but... Oh, you're um, bringing cake tomorrow. Oh, we were gonna buy you a cake. I told me to get the cake. You can bring the cake, sure. No, if you, I, we, I want to get it for you. You tell me what to, unless you're gonna make something, because I was just gonna get store bought, which is not as good. Yeah, diplomacy. <laughs> that'll be interesting. Um, I don't know if you could handle. Cool. The, I don't think you could handle diplomacy. Uh, you know, I've heard whenever if diplomacy gets. You don't like backstabbing. Gets... From you, I don't. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, it's like the more I know you, the, the the closer you are to me. If you backstab me, I I can't. But if we were having like a game night and some stranger did, I'd be like, you silly little. <laughs> um, but every time I hear diplomacy mentioned in any kind of chat, there's like this sudden feeling of like awe and like oh, everyone goes diplomacy. Like what is this game that it's basically it's like, got a, this like, like an anything goes reverent. kind of like backstabbing you know really? everybody's gonna get backstabbed at at some point you know kind is of it like thing. super beefy is it like a super heavy game no hmm That'd if you like pink then try dinosaur that might be a island. game you could get That's played at the, at the retreat get some get a Fine. Game I'll of play diplomacy, diplomacy with a bunch of strangers that day Star Trek. Tom's gonna be like you are not invited back. <laughs> We thought you were nice, and then nope. We just played mm. this one uh, when we were waiting for some one last person to come for a game night on Thursday. Um, so yeah, that, that's a great one. Interesting Coding Joker. Is really good too. I have played a Ti Four game. Diplomacy is, is Ti Four. Game of that. Luck. I did. I played Ti Four. What does that mean again? Twilight Imperium. Yeah, I totally knew that. <laughs> you um, played it. We no, play, We went to a game night at a church. That wasn't Twilight Imperium. What was that? That was um, uh, um, that was another big 4X game. Yes, 4X. That's the term yeah. I was trying to think of. Um, I don't remember which one Commander, you something Command. Yeah, I don't remember which. You, I don't remember which one you played. Little spaceships and all that, and it was it was grueling. And we went. We were there for three hours, and we got a, about a third of the way through the game. Yeah, see, my I've I've heard of people doing that, like playing diplomacy by like mail. 
What? It's super interesting, yeah. Why like would before, you do that? before you had like the internet or anything. Like that's how they they would play diplomacy through like mail, so you could play with people like not in your area. Yeah. Wow, people were awesome back then. Oh, that's I funny, don't... Kabuki. I still remember seeing diplomacy for the first time and was amazed that it was a diceless game. That's hilarious! <laughs> oh my gosh. Marvel United. I keep hearing a lot of people like it, but then I hear some people absolutely hate it. So I don't know where I'm gonna where we where we would fall for that. Kabuki, what do you love about 4X games? Because Diplomacy, the game that has ruined friendships for half a century. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Eclipse. It was a dudes on a map kind of a game. Yeah. And uh, it I wasn't swear. the two. It wasn't like the d double level one or whatever. It had like ships and stuff. It though, had didn't ships. It? Yep. And you had to put them on their stands and then put them out. And you had. Oh, there were so you many board, tiny right? pieces that, of cardboard. Had upgrades yes. or something like that, too. Yeah. I swear yeah. Command was in the title. Something Commander. Does that sound familiar? Huh. Uh, Joker says there are apps for it if you get a group together. It's all just negotiation. At some point, you need to backstab your allies. Yeah. Hmm. Well. I would never want to play diplomacy by mail. I'd only want to play in one session face-to-face. -face. Yeah, Guess I could see that. Much. But if you're desperate to play, you know, that was the way people played, I guess. t says they're old. How old are you? I love 4X because it almost is sandboxy in that you have so many options on your turn and the game evolves and tells a story. Uh, yeah. Okay. I like, I don't know, 4X games are fine. I, I'm just so much more of a fan of Euro games. Like, I, mm. I played TA4 a couple times and I, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, 56. Nice. But it's one of those I felt like, okay, I played this and I, I don't really keep. need to play it again. Empires of the Void 2. I don't even know that I know that game. Um, Space Empires 4X? That wasn't either of those. Mm -mm. I don't think. Space Empires? Gosh. That sound familiar. I don't because I wasn't playing. I was just I just saw that you guys had played it, and I knew at first glance that I had no interest in it whatsoever. <laughs> I can't remember. I really want to... Oh, I want to think of it so bad. I finally started getting into it. They had, like, pink spaceships. Which I claimed is mine. And um, I, I started getting into it, but then three hours later, because we were all learning it that night, too. And it was, I think, four or five people. It was a yeah. huge Didn't setup, you guys. Didn't you stop playing? Yeah, we had to. Because you guys did not get very far no. either. You guys got like four or five yeah. hours in it. And then yeah, I think it was left. more like three hours because it was at that church. It was like 17 hours. It was. I remember right? it was a week. I that's right. That's right. Because I came back for the next for the game night the next week, and you guys were still playing it. Um, Solvi... <laughs> He came to pick me up a month later. <laughs> I would rather play six Euro games in the same time as playing a single game of Twilight Imperium. Yes. Now, people say that you my can language. get, you know, TI4 done in five hours with everybody that knows it. And that's great. I mean, the games that we played of Twilight, I want to say were in that six Hi hour time. range, six, seven hour range or something. But I am totally with you. I'd rather play a couple of Euro games. Yep. Partially because I feel like I'm doing a lot more. You know, there's a lot going on in yeah. TI4 and stuff, but there's quite a bit of downtime and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I like combat games and things like that, but it's definitely not, like, my favorite mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that I played it and experienced it and whatever, but like I said, I I don't think I'd ever pick it up again. Unless it was, like, a group of people that... Um, Kabuki, you know you what? Know, really wanted to play it. I wouldn't I wouldn't turn it down, for instance. <laughs> Um, <laughs> KK says I tend to prefer one big long game over a bunch of short. Honestly, to me, it's my mood. It depends on the day. It depends on my brain. I agree, capacity. but most of my longer games that we play are like two, three hours. Yeah, yeah, they're not like these. Crazy. And then a lot of Euro games that we play that really should only take like two hours, we take like three hours with easy because we just. What does HS mean? We high school. Oh. Um, we talk a lot, and we take a lot of time in our turns. Not to the point where it's like. Grinding halt AP. Sometimes it gets to that point with some people, but um, but we just kind of play and we're okay with just only getting one game in, you know, on a four hour night. What was the game we played for like, oh gosh. I, wow, like five hours. Was that with Chrissy and Patrick? Was it? Was that Terraforming Mars and that we played? Terraforming that? Mars took oh. was like a five hour some game with five people. When we played Merlin, that took a long time too. That was five and a half hours. Four players playing Merlin. Yeah. And by the end of it, I actually got really crabby. And I apologized yeah. to Chrissy the next day. Yeah. <laughs> I messaged her and I was like, um, so about last night. 
Chrissy says, I don't mind really long games, but just like a large amount of downtime. I tend yeah, to forget what I'm that's doing. That's really tough. I yes. completely agree with that. Absolutely. And then you start rethinking your turn in the span of everybody else's turn and you rethink what you wanted to do and then you Games of Fire never apologize. Hi, Games of Fire. No, never, <laughs> never. I hope that your family emergency is working out um, okay. Oh my goodness. Thanks yes. for joining us anyway. Even Thank if you for missed, joining us, yes. Even if you missed it. We're just chitty chitty chat chat because it's fun. KK said, and I regularly play TI4 and 18 double X games. 18 XX. I don't um, want to say things. Those are like train games. Oh, oh my gosh. Because they're all like 18 whatever number. Guys. Year. I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, no, I haven't played an 18xx game. I, that's another one I probably wouldn't mind playing, but I'm not sure that I'd be totally thrilled on those. I know I like, you know, I obviously like a lot of heavy euros and stuff. I'm just not sure that I would like those or not. Maybe. Um, Kiki says a five plus hour game is fine for me as long as good. I do agree with that. Yeah, I don't mind when playing When we played for Merlin, hours. like I'm we talking. had a blast. I'm sorry. I'm joking. You were talking first. <laughs> Things just got serious around here. Um, I was going to say something about trains. I hate hate train games. You do hate train themed Literally, games. it's the most boring thing I could possibly think of to put on a board game. And I think that's what deterred me from Railroad Inc., which now I love. What about um, Railroad, Rail Mountain? What's that one? Rail Mountain? I hate you it. don't like that one? I thought you I thought no. you warmed up to that one. What's it called again? Whistle Mountain? Whistle Mountain. Get out of my life. I like that one. Get out. Shut the door. It's actually, it's a fine game. Like, mechanically, it's just... Trains? What? I'm probably offending a lot of people because mm. people love train games. Um, Jokers, yeah, TI4 are good for monthly meetups. Set aside a Saturday or Sunday and it becomes the group's game. I hear you. And actually, when we played that Merlin that took five hours, the experience around the table, you order pizza, you get snacks, you you know, you take breaks, you mingle, you talk about life. That Those moments are awesome and irreplaceable. So, the irreplaceable... Kabuki Terraforming March should not take that long. You are absolutely correct. Um, yeah. The people we were playing with did take very long turns. So that was the biggest problem. Um, Loopy plays poker for more than six hours at a time. I've never learned po poker, but it's so funny you bring that up. I was just thinking we, about poker. Have we played poker together? I've never played poker, and I was thinking about that while I was putting the poker used, pieces I thought, away like, today. I thought Austin used to play poker all the time. He I did. You guys played with them. I just sat and no? hung out. Hmm. Talked. Poker's fun. Um, we have poker chips. What are they called? Poker chips? <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> poker chips. Do that poker we use chips? for a token system for our kids' misbehavior, and it's been pretty Not their awesome. misbehavior. They're, they're good, good behavior. behavior. It's a rewarding um, award system. <laughs> Chrissy, was, Yeah, Chrissy was crabby during Merlin for sure. <laughs> we got to get that thing that when we're talking to chat, we can click on their comment and bring it up. Uh, yeah, People can't, love to see their sentences. Well, we can't. You can't do it with this no. setup with all these cameras. Solvi, I've never had AP people. Wait, where, where, where? What does it say? Read it. I can't read that. I've never had AP people in my game group, but an old friend joined some session and he's been a math prodigy. So he has so much oh. AP, and I can finally see the, fr the frustration people talk about. <laughs> Randy has an issue with that at the end of a game when the points, when it becomes about make it the best you can possibly do at the very end, then you take a I while. At I the still end. go quite quickly though all i'm saying is you take a while at the end um if it really matters and it's close yes if it's not really terribly close or whatever then we'll oh. just i'll just play whatever Look or if i can play. sense that everybody's just kind of wanting to get through the game i'll definitely speed up i definitely adjust my play time to people at the table like if everybody's really cranking and trying to figure something out well i don't want to be i don't want to lose games right yeah so i'll kind of match how long other people take to do it, but um, if everybody's kind of flying through turns, I'll I'll try to fly. Yeah, you fly do. Through them quickly. That is well. interesting. I think I do that too. But then when I don't, you tap my leg and you go, "It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn." That's when you get talky. Just take your turn talking the rest of it. Look at Jim's playing Kanban tomorrow. I, you know, usually when I do that is when I'm getting antsy to wrap a game up because it's taking so long and I can see that it's going to take like an it's extra like I got hour. Work in so it's. Yeah, I don't mind them taking long, you know, but, I, like... Um, Jim, Randy loves Kanban so much. I tried playing it when I had a half gamer head on my shoulder, and I backed out real hard. <sighs> no. Oh, you guys are so chitty-chitty chat tonight. I love it. 
Did you actually um, get any of those games from Target this no, past month? No, we haven't bought any new games. No, in a while. At, at all this year? I don't think so. In the last four months at least, we haven't bought like anything Yeah, new. why is that? No unboxing. There hasn't been like a terrible yeah. lot of new games that come out. There's, mm -hmm. There are some. There's but, a new yeah. 18 double X game that's supposed to be more like a year. I can't remember what it's called. So this comment really doesn't help. Yeah. I heard that there's a new game coming out that's pretty good. There's this game and it's got a board. <laughs> Train games aren't for everyone. That is correct. I know. I and I feel that. bad because I just ripped on them and everybody loves uh, them. Ellen, do you like the red or blue? So we've only played red and blue. We haven't played the yellow or green. Mm -hmm. um, so which one do you like better, red or blue? The the one is um, lakes. I don't the like the lava. Okay. The comets, comet, comets are the other um, dice oh. in that one. And then oh. the blue one is lakes and... What's the other blue one? Lakes and something. Lakes and... Can't remember what the other blue one is. Do we have it up here? It's over, it's over there. Mm. I'm not getting them. I don't remember the other one. So you like blue better? I like whatever one's not the lava one. Well, again, there's comets oh, yeah. in, the, in the red <laughs> one also. Because there's two different ones in each oh, color. Oh, shoot. Because I remember liking the comets, but I don't like the lava. You don't like the lava? Yeah, I don't it's, know. The lava's stressful, but we found out we were playing it wrong, so... Uh, well, we accidentally were doing both lavas for half the game, yeah. I have not heard of Star Trek Ascendancy. That's supposed to be like the quintessential Star Trek game. Is it? Mm-hmm. City Jade. of the Big Shoulders? Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poker, I don't even Jim, know her. Jim Garner. That's my joke. That's, that's Every what I say. single word that ends in er, <laughs> Randy makes that joke, and I'm like, babe. If we yeah. ever meet for a four to five hour game, I'd like it to be the West Kingdom Tome Saga. We have not gone through the Tome Saga yet. We talked about playing it, remember? We're dumb. What are we doing with our lives? <gasps> um, yeah, that's no good to have your basement flood. Uh, we have our games in the basement, but they're all off the floor. They're all like on shelves, yeah. and then we have the rest of our games upstairs. Because we yeah, did have some mold down here when we did our basement things. because of yeah. some water coming down into yeah, the... Yeah, it's only in the corners, but yeah. It was horrible. It was really bad. Man, the question, the the comments are just. I know, I love today. it. You guys are just reading through all these. Um, let's see. I really wish those two games played solo. They seem so neat. I don't know which ones you're talking about. I really enjoyed ST. Star Trek oh. Ascendancy. I'm like, what's ST? But I never got it to the table. Only train games I'll agree to play are Ticket to Ride and Trans Europe Open Railroading. There you go. That's pretty much all that Ellen wants to You know what? Ticket oh, to Ride. Ride the Rails. Ride uh, the Rails. I have heard of that one. It looks interesting. Hmm. What was that one? First Class. I like that one a lot. That was that was more of a Euro card game than, yeah. than anything. It's not really a train game at all. <laughs> no, it's not. In it's... fact, there was like no route building or anything no, like that. No, it was... Uh, actually, I kind of like that one because you're like dealing with passengers on the trains. Yeah, it was fun. That was kind of cute. Um, and then actually Coal Baron was kind of fun. Yeah, we have coal baron, but and that's not trains either. That's coal train. Oh. That's coal. Well, well I guess you're kind of you train. do technically tri ship them off on yeah. a train. I recently got Legends of Arnak and Dune Imperium. They both look great. Yeah, and we just for Arnak. Arnak. You prefer Arnak? Yeah, I do. E you do? Yeah, slightly. <sighs> I think once Dune gets an expansion, I I'm hoping. Is it'll... it because Dune gets samey? Uh, it doesn't necessarily get same. It can't. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I've cooled a little bit on Dune. I love Dune I so much. I think that the expansion will help that a lot, though. I'm hoping it will. Um, did anybody here get the Kickstarter of Planet Unknown? No. No, I didn't know. That's a sweet The sentence was an hour and a half shorter. Yeah, that's pretty long. You did remodeling. That might have taken up. That did take some of our oh time, Jim. That's correct. <laughs> you guys seriously doing that bathroom? Mm, Dom gave me Sonora for me for me birthday. For me birthday. She's like, for me birthday. Arr. <laughs> Flicking right, and that's a lot of fun. Cool. That was cute of him. Oh, that's cool. That's Blue cool. is rivers and lakes. Rivers. Okay, I, th I was thinking it was Thank rivers, but I can't remember exactly how they uh, function together. Yeah. Do you like games that are considered sandboxy? Stuff like, how do you say it? Zaya or, or Western, Western Legends. Legends. I have not played either, um, and I think I would probably enjoy one of those two. The night that I played that crazy um, 4X game, Western Legends was over on the other table, and I kept looking over because the people were just like hooting and howling yeah, and saying a bunch of weird too. stuff, and it, and it looked really fun. But yeah, I don't know. Ice. The other blue is ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. I've never played Zaya either, actually. Any massive two-player games like War of the Ring, or is that too long? 
too big. I'm not sure that you would like that. It's a dudes on a it's a dudes on a map kind of risk. I mean, obviously it's not risk, but Mm -hmm. kind of that style where you're kind of like moving and trying to yeah, you know. Um, we've talked about this on this chat before, and I think I mentioned it with Glory Hound too. I have not found. I love I love Lord of the Rings. I don't like Lord of the Rings games. There's not a good one. Journey to Mordor, the the roll and write is probably my favorite, and that's a roll and write. That's so it's got six too. cheap dice yeah, and like it's kind of fun, but yeah. I I don't know. I just I don't know. What well, was I the mean, one that we had? Hunt for the Ring? Because they're not really a. It's not really a Euro game kind of a theme. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely going to be more of a uh, yeah. dudes on a map kind of stuff. We but. we do have two that. Our Lord of the Rings, and you're looking for the other person, and I just get so mad that I can never find Randy, and he always knows exactly where I am. I just, I can't. Um, Nathan says Dune can get samey. I feel like you're right. You know, Arnak can true. get a little samey too after I played it again. <laughs> they both get a little samey. Yeah, Chrissy, totally. She said I feel done with Dune and Arnak until the expansions. I could probably do one more round. Of Honestly, Dune. I think deck builders in general no Dune. Has all pretty much suffer from that okay. problem. Like, even, like, Clank. I like Clank a lot, but it does something gets kind of, like, you kind of go in a certain direction. Yeah. I mean, it's always different, which is nice for Clank, so it gets some replayability with how you go through. Yeah. But a lot of those, like, deck builders and stuff, they do get they do get a bit samey. Um, KK and Chrissy are talking about Beyond the Sun. That was cool. Is that the Tech Tree one? You did not. You were so frustrated. Uh, the first time I, I played it, I loved it. Was, it. I did not like it at and all. We played then it we, live. We played it live, and I <gasps> I liked it a little bit better second play for sure. Why did I like that so much? I don't even. I don't know why. I even I can't even tell you why the tech. Yeah, thing the was old really school cool. Dune game. I haven't played that one, but yeah. Time for bed. <laughs> this is getting late for me in my old age. Good night, Chrissy. See you tomorrow, birthday girl. Yeah, Jim. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just kind of. It doesn't that. Theming is not going to generally apply to um, our games we generally like. Although, I really wanted to like the Hidden Movement game. I, I just don't think we gave that one enough enough Probably shake not. to it. And I want to play it with more people. Let's yes, see, um, please, more people. Hunt, Hunt for the Ring. I think then it would like be a lot better. Confrontation. It, isn't that the one we have, too? Uh, we do have Lord of the Rings Confrontation. Yeah, it's basically like Stratego. That's, yeah. you know what? That one's kind of cool, but You're, you get frustrated with that one because I always outsmart you. you. Shut! <laughs> I can't even handle that. It's true, I can't though. even handle that. I literally cannot handle that. I know because I always psych you out, and I like get in your head. He does. I can't read him. <laughs> no idea. When we play a game, oh, what's Randy's poker face? You tell me. I have no idea. I literally cannot. I don't think I have a particularly good like <sighs> poker face. Okay, but I have learned, at least for myself, that works. That um, if I go into the same type of game, so basically doing the same thing, no matter if I'm good or bad, like in social deduction games and things, I find that that helps me out a lot. <laughs> He's like, I find. <laughs> um, I got Journeys in Middle Earth, but I haven't played that yet. Do you like that? I've one? not played that one, but that one, that one looks interesting. What's the would, one Lord of the like Rings game? That. I know um, Jen Barlett. Board Game Librarian is obsessed. It's like the Lord of the Rings game. What is Probably that? Probably War of the Ring. War of the Ring. Okay. Probably. Um, so that's the thing, like, journeys Patrick. I would like to try, but it's, like, super expensive, so I'm, I don't want to invest into a game that much without knowing that I like it or not. How much love for Press Your Luck games, stuff like, I love Quacks. Uh, I like Press Your Luck games, Press Your Luck sure. is great. What's the Quacks Press Your Luck we just got? We just uh, played it, so had oh, that distilled? element. Kind of, like, the kind mitigate? Yeah, but it was something else we played recently oh. that was more. Distilled's really good, by the way. Yeah, that's a, coming out to We PSR might have and... a preview for that coming out in the next mm-hmm. couple days. Yes. That one's good. You should check that one out. The still is good. The still is a good one. We just made a video for it. And I wish I looked more natural in the video. Like when I'm talking here, everything's cool. When I as soon as like I start reading the script, I'm like, my name is Ellen. I live in Wacky Shack, Wisconsin. <laughs> um, Solvi, uh, yeah, they haven't gotten the same yet. I've maybe played about the same amount of times and, and I can see people not saying it that it gets samey also. Um I think part of it is that the way like the options in there, I generally kind of go in one direction. I try to branch out, and I have, but I still feel like I'm ultimately kind of doing more or less the same progression. I wish yeah, there was more true. cycling of the cards to make it more of an actual deck the builder. Cards? If there was more yeah. cycling of the cards, I think I would enjoy it more. Yeah, I hear you. Um, any Raptor love? I love Raptor. Try Raptor's everybody. right there. Yeah. And we've played it live a couple of times. That's a good game. I yeah, also Raptor's really super good. That's another one mad I, at Randy. I, I, uh... Psych you out on. Shut up. I love those. Raptor's cool, but need to try it more. First play was weird. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, 
first play on that one, I can see yeah. that happening. Wait, what? Have um, you all tried Hobbit Love? Yeah, that was an older version of Hobbit. That's basically Love Letter with but like I a want, little bit of, But I want it. All su it's all those prints are hard to find. Okay, buy it for me anyway. What? <laughs> yeah, Raptor, I think definitely, it's especially if you haven't played games somewhat like Raptor, um, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely interesting to get your head around, yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, I also do not paint Nathan. But um, I paint. I painted all my yeah. Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, you did. Imperium? Basically, most of Imperium? my nighttime, like relaxing, has been doing things like uh, um, editing and mm -hmm. and things like that. So yeah. a lot of that time that I used to spend, kind of just painting Lord of the Rings, and I painted um, Mice and Mystics as well. Yep, Mice and Mystics. And Imperial Assault. Yeah, those are the two I was talking about. Imperial oh. Assault and my Mystics. Oh, you said Lord of the Rings. Oh, did I? And I, I Star completely Wars. agreed and had no idea what you were talking I about. I Star Wars. So there's <laughs> that. Ever twi tw Ever twi Twilight Swuggle? <laughs> I'm getting You know, that one I would really, really like to play. And that was one of the earlier games I was going to get, but I never thought Ellen would like it. And then it just kind of passed. Judge much? It kind of, well, I this was don't. when we were trying to figure out what games you'd oh. like to play. And that one kept coming up, kept coming up. I really wanted to buy it. Maybe we should buy it. You can get I, like it I feel like you can get it probably pretty cheap now. Okay. It's kind of like a, but it does have kind of that same feel as um, that one you don't like uh, that we got rid of. The uh, two-player um, um, with the water, Watergate. <laughs> With the water the, and the, the gate. Two, the two-player game with the Watergate scandal. The what water is that one called again? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Twilight's, that that's kind of like a lighter version of Twilight. You know, Watergate's cool, and I, I feel like absolutely see the potential there, but it's a two-player. I think that's player. where it finally kind of got killed off the radar of, like, if she doesn't like this, she, I doubt she'll like Twilight. That's struggling. cute, though, that you're trying to buy games that I would like. Oh, Stop. <laughs> Dude, Imperium upgrade pack should bring a little extra love back to that game. Yeah, it has a little bling to it in that, yeah. Hobbit Love Letter is like Lord of the Rings deck builder, super expensive second hand. Yeah, yeah, they're they're hard to find. Well, yeah. start looking for it, babe. Academy Birth of America games. I don't know anything about yeah, those. Yeah, no, I don't know what that is. Hey, Matthew, I beat the Mc easy way. Pay somebody to paint for me. <laughs> Timon, what is the general going rate for somebody painting a mini? Is it like, what, 10 bucks a mini, or is it more than that? Less than that? I don't know. Hmm. As a minis hater, I was so happy the base game of Dune didn't have... You know what? <laughs> Can I be honest with Soul V right now and everybody else? The second I see minis in a game, I'm just immediately turned off. I'm like, eh. Uh, Always. Well, that, a lot of that's because generally it's, it's going to be a game that you probably don't want to play. Having minis just for, like, aesthetic... Act, you know, for like a Euro game or something like that, something I would li actually like. I, I think that's nice to have like a, just a little extra. I want cardboard, bling at baby. The table. I want cardboard and I want wooden cubes. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, but what if your Euro game could have little statues? Why would that not? You would love that. You would. Don't deny it. Maybe I would. Maybe my association with a gritty. Yeah, a hair water gate ish. Yes, that's right. What, what am I trying days, to say? Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah. That one looked pretty cool. I haven't played that one either. Huh. Minis are cool. Um, <laughs> Robert's just like, minis are cool. <laughs> I played Imperial Assault with y'all, but only the cooperative mode. Um, I will have a roast. Yeah, because the, the cooperative mode, you can only play with the um, Dungeon Master app thing, right? I think that's how that works. Gray Fox says, just tried Jaipur as a two-player game. Have you guys had a chance to play it? If so, thoughts? I love it. That's a I great really game. I like And I'm actually kind of good at it. I know. We got rid of that one. We gave it no, to we somebody. Didn't. Yeah, you gave it to somebody. What? Got rid of Jaipur and Deep Sea Adventure? Am I stupid? I know. We haven't gotten rid of a lot of games, but you've regretted every one we've gotten rid of, oh, I think. Come on. Jaipur was great with the trading of the camels and all that kind of stuff. Or not the trading, but yeah, that kind of That's back and forth. That's a great game. I love Jaipur. Yeah. Maybe we should buy it again. We are dumb. Can we get the. Twilight Struggle is still about 50 bucks. That's crazy. There's got to be a used market of like thousands of them, though. That game's been out forever. That is crazy. What the heck's wrong with I feel like I could find that somewhere for 20 bucks. The Expanse Maybe board not. game. Sort of was like multiplayer Twilight Struggle a bit. Hmm, interesting. Um, 
I want to try Expanse. That is definitely a game because it's oh, supposed you love to be. That show. It's supposed to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty thematic with the. That with the show, show was amazing for five seconds, and then I hated it. Oh, I really liked it. Every I like okay, every episode. Here's why: it. it got so boring, and every scene is dark. This is dark. <laughs> There's no light. I can't. I can't look at the screen. So what happens? What? How are you directly affected? I'm curious, Timon, uh, being in the Air Force when when Watergate happened. Was it just like because of the un- instability? Was that mainly it? I, I'm curious to know. Oh, Last, Last Aurora. Aurora. I don't know anything about that. I don't know that. Really nice standees are good. Yeah, good um, art standees sometimes. are good too. I, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Ten dollars yeah. depending on quality. I that might be you know Twilight like Struggle spend... you're talking about because I feel like there's a whole bunch of them out there. What I like to spend my money on for like a Euro game is like good money, like metal money. Hey, Patrick. Metal coins. Messenger 3821141. Messenger 3821141. Why aren't you at your post? <laughs> he, I saw him earlier. I told him to get out of here because he's like, guess what? I would never get sick of playing. Oh, I didn't Terraforming see Terraforming Mars. I didn't see it. Obsession Actually, was real Patty. period of tired. Obsession's getting pretty up, pretty upvoted in our next game night. Yeah, it is. Mm. I'd pay $10. Oh, $10 dollars. a mini. Okay, I'm sorry. I, that's right. But I, I want to do it myself so I can take pride in my paint to me. Yeah, absolutely. Jaipur is one yeah, of those games that sure. I can get my BF to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like just it's just a good, it's just a fun feel when you get going on that one. 50 bucks. Yeah, that's way what? too much for a love letter. But I love it. And it's in my purse all the yeah, time. Yeah, I saw the new um, Jaipur. That looked interesting, the artwork. Vincent Dutre art. Yeah. Oh, interesting. A friend of mine produces the Expanse show. I still haven't watched it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm not a good I think friend. Expanse is fantastic. <laughs> it's a really, really good series. Didn't it get very, it just became very, like, it was a lot of political stuff? I feel like a lot some, of the... Some, but no. Wow, why did I get so bored with it? Maybe I need to try it again. Uh, a ten new... people coming is pretty exciting. Oh my gosh, there's ten people. Well, I think, actually, it's minus one. There's some glitch I gotta figure out that it's like always adding a plus for one. game night for our house. Yeah, so if it says oh. ten, it's actually not. Guys, we picked up our game nights again. We just started them again. Opened yeah, up the big, house back to people. Nights, yeah. So we had eight people here last time. Ooh, I love Dinosaur Island. Yes, Soup's and anything fun. Shem Phillips, I have loved like everything. That yeah, Shemmy. I call him Shemmy Boy. Yeah, Shemmy Boy. That's I call him Sham Shrew. <laughs> we go way back like that. Hello, <gasps> Judy the Nerd Shells. Judy Nerd Shells. Hello, Shiver Me Timbers. Yeah, does have it some ended great up metal with coins. us getting an ex Georgia governor as president. Oh, I spent extra years in Worshipsmith, AFB, Michigan, due to this oh, coming. Oh, I see. He doesn't want to play Watergate. Yeah, he doesn't. I can doesn't understand play that. that. I mean, that, that had to be a, <laughs> a crazy thing going on. I mean, that's like it like never happened in the whole history of the United States. So that's pretty. That's pretty wild. I get you. I feel a little so weird that you took Shemp in the three story stooges. Need Sorry. wall of Shem. Yeah, I've got all the Shems lined up. Actually, there's one of them upstairs. I forgot that's upstairs. I don't know why. I don't know how what was it? Uh not Vikings. What's the other one? Paladin somehow made it upstairs. It's not well, that's with, weird. It's not with the other Shems. Is it, maybe you think someone did someone borrow it and then I just oh, I don't know. Maybe. Um Shiver Me Timbers has some great metal coins. I have not heard of that game, but I'm always up for metal coin. We went to a convention called Game Hole Con, and it's in Madison, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, Madison, two years ago. And they had this guy from Australia was there, and he had this huge table, like two of these Watsons put together, full of different kinds of metal coins, and they were gorgeous. Any weird little design that you could possibly think of with like weird little artwork. I think it was called Campaign Coins. I think that's his name of his um, company. Campaign I've been, Coins. I think I've mentioned this probably 20 times on YouTube. You've, but he had mentioned it a lot. Yeah. He had these coins guys that were like <laughs> this tiny and they were bright silver and very like tink 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 when you heard them. They said ting. Yeah. And I want them for casting. Uh, since you guys opened up game night, have you guys thought about going back to con soon? Yeah, we are going to Dice yeah. Tower Retreat in Miami. Yeah. Miami e Miami. Um, yep, so we're going to that. Uh, biggest reason we're not going to more cons is really just budget this year. We, yep. We've we done a couple of family trips already this year because uh, we weren't sure exactly what was going to go on with uh, cons and whatnot. So. Yep. Some of the uh, most of the travel budget is is spent. Yeah, but we will be at Dice year. Tower Retreat, um, Miami, September. Yes, I'm yep. super excited. Hi, Funky Sai. I really hope when Shem gets to the East trilogy that he does Japan. That would That'd be, be cool. amazing. Yeah. I like Japanese themed Absolutely. games. Absolutely. Paladins is adding yellow meeple soon. 
Ooh, yellow meeples are cool. I oh, didn't know that. Orange is better, though. What does this say? Shelfie stacker. I don't know that one. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. Um, Viticulture is actually on our lineup uh, for game night on Thursday. It's, it's it getting be. a lot of thumbs up Thumbs up. I love that game so much. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Patrick said something about another option showed up, so I think he might have put oh, uh, Terraforming Mars Aries. <laughs> oh, is that what he meant by that? Guess, oh, yeah. that's, you know what, though? I would sit on a game on that. Uh, Miami seems to be an awesome place. Cuban food is on the bucket list for me. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've been to Miami a couple times. It's um, not, I don't know, it's fine. Like, I would, I would, you know, I don't mind visiting it. And South Beach has a bunch of... Nice food and stuff like that. I but, never traveled until I married him, so um, you're going to take me to these places. I, it's okay. I think I, Miami's fine. I know there's a ton of people that absolutely love Miami. I'm very on the fence about it. Hmm. I think it's fine. I am excited. I like actually, Florida. <laughs> we found out it's cheaper to stay an extra day when we're in Florida. And yeah, the, the, the cost like, of yeah. uh, a hotel room you is stay? cheaper than the extra cost for plane tickets to fly back on Monday. So we're going to stay till Tuesday. <laughs> Shemmy yeah. stackers, Shemmy boys. Shelfie stackers, Shemmy boys, <laughs> new name. <laughs> Poor Shem. He has no idea I'm making up names for him. My club has been meeting. Um, we're using a police station public meeting room. That's so cool. That's pretty cool. cool. Um, we cool use our house, but after we got this area all fixed up, it's quite enjoyable. And then um, we have our like dining room table upstairs that we used to throw a mat down on it. Yeah, we have two um, like full size game tables that are about this size. Actually, the table upstairs is slightly bigger, even yeah. the play surface. And then um, I do have a mat for a folding table that we can put up in the in living case room. The game so if we get out of control, we ever get to three tables worth. Oh, that's which cool. honestly, once you get to like nine people, you could easily do three three person games. Um, yeah. Or a five and a four, because five is sometimes hard to find a game that everybody wants to play at five. That's true. Um, so if we're at nine plus, you know, we definitely could be doing three tables. That's really cool. Set up outside. Yeah, the architects. Uh, you can be outside with cool. terraforming Mars, Pat. Yeah, you could. Shem also announced a plan And actually, Pat, architects. we have little um, weights, clear weights that you could put on all the cards so you don't have to worry about any win. <laughs> yeah, we got these little glass, like, paperweight thingies. Yeah. We haven't really tried them cool. yet because we haven't needed to. But. <laughs> They're so cool. We haven't tried them. They might suck and not work at all. No, they'll really work 100%. Like, oh. um, KK says, my meetup group hasn't started back up where we used to meet, but we have started meeting at home. So that's yeah, awesome. I'm glad that everybody is is uh, feeling like they can get together again. Yeah, I'm loving awesome. seeing pictures on social media. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start calling social media that. Social media? Sweet. Social media. Of people smiling in pictures, playing games. That's my favorite. I think you did four. And Judy five and the Nerd Shops. Hey, quick questions. I know you move to Twitch a bit now. What do you think about how it runs, like playing games, meet up, and chat with people, etc.? Um, so question. I've not actually ever used the actual Twitch um, stream manager thing, you know, where you could do a bunch of crap with it and, and stuff. Um, We're still talking about maybe doing that. It's been a while. I know. I... <laughs> we just keep not. I, I think our biggest that people thing is love like, it, and I know a lot of people use it. So I, I don't know. I thought we thought we might start just doing another, either a weekly or bi-weekly, um, mm -hmm. or bi-monthly, maybe even um, like, like Twitch-only Twitch stream, just see to kind of see. How we don't want to lose people if they're comfortable here, and it can restream yeah, combines like, everybody. So I know it's a lot like of people like YouTube and stuff. So um, Sylvie know. says, have you tried herbiscus? Herbaceous. Herbaceous. Um, I have not, but I, I heard that people really Herb like it, yeah. biscuits. That's so fetch. <laughs> Put some butter on it. Um, That's so wow, fetch. It's 10.15. We should up. probably, um... I know. Guys, this, this is crazy. Why do you guys keep talking to us? I Grief. love it. It's amazing. I can't <laughs> stop. Looking to getting a board game table. What manufacturer did you guys end up going with? Um, so we're being sponsored by Game Toppers. Um, and this is a completely and utterly unbiased opinion. I think pretty much any game table out there is fantastic. I've played on quite a few of them. Uh, the most economical solution, as long as you already have a table to play on, is game toppers. Um, they're they're going to be the cheapest because you're not really paying for everything else. Now, they also have legs and things like that. Um, and I want to say that even if you get like the leg kits and all that, it still ends up being a little bit cheaper. Um, Rascalers is super nice, but they're super dang expensive. Mm -hmm. And I think, isn't BoardGameTables.com? They're still around, I think, right? Oh, 
One of them went out of best Not business. The person asked. And I don't I know Geek and Son went I think they went out of business and there's like another one that Sad. did also, I think. Um, their stuff was super expensive. Do you think that was to their detriment that it went they went out of business because they just it was too Um, I think they were based in Europe. I think that was part of the problem. Oh, I don't think they were necessarily right. selling as many as they needed to in their main country that they were in. <laughs> JD like Best is yes, we are still um, here. So <laughs> Honestly, I really don't think you can go wrong with anything. If you already have a table or you can just buy an inexpensive table or even get like a halfway decent, somewhat sturdy table at like, you know, flea markets or whatever, and then you put a topper on them, Game Toppers is a fantastic way yeah. to go. That's what we're playing on right now. Yeah, super great. I was going to say yeah. more. I like that Berkey literally, the guy who, this is company, it's got this these cracks in it. See these tiles from the game? It's big enough to hold tiles. Like it's yeah. wide enough to hold that. And this is not it's not super uncommon or anything either. Um, for for a lot of the features that this one has, a lot of them basically have you know more or less the same features on them and things. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, herbaceous actually has an herb biscuit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that sounds so good right now. <laughs> that's funny, Kazuki. Oh, Nathan. I'll stop <laughs> typing things in the oh, chat. Thanks, this is the last thing. We'll love <laughs> you all. Love you, too. Back, thanks for being here. Super Okay, fun. so Board Game Tables is in business, so I couldn't remember which one. Yeah. Yeah. Board Game Tables. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they were making... Oh, yeah, that's right. They're making games and stuff, too, that are super good. Um, yeah, and bags and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wormwood. Cool. You can get some game toppers. Yeah, there's all sorts of different stuff. Yeah. Um, well, that's the end of the chat line. Table. And I've heard a lot of people um, actually My just going to their to local um, local furniture maker and getting a custom table. What? Yeah. So a lot of times they're a little bit cheaper people even. People have local furniture makers? Well, we do, yeah. We do? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of people you can go to and get something made if you want to that's the heck? to your design. Right, I guess that's true. Yeah. Mm. That's a true um, So there's a bunch of people that have done that as well. The table that we have and these chairs... That we actually reupholstered ourselves with black, because I love black. Um, Facebook Marketplace. It's like sixty bucks for a table yeah. and six chairs. The, Two of them the are upstairs. Table surface had a couple of like you know water rings and stuff, but we only use this table for that, and we always had a mat on yeah, it. Yeah, so who cares? And now we always have a table topper on it. So plus coffee rings you know, are awesome. Like it's like a story of the table. Like it's black Beyond is dead. Black. Hey, you remember that? <laughs> yes, I did make doll furniture as a uh, yeah. preteen in my teen years. Yep. Randy was a business man. I made them for a like child. a local store, American Girl Doll. So we'd, we'd make like little um, wardrobe chests and bunk beds and things. And yeah, the wardrobes I sold to the store for like almost 300 bucks. Also, so. he sold, he made, what are those little, the bolos, the bolo ties? that They're like the little metal with the string. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what about them? You made those with leather and little... Um, beads, little heart beads, eee! and I have one on my keychain. Oh, and he that's sold them. Like a keychain thing. Isn't that, that precious? My parents had a bunch of beads left over, and I sold probably a few of them at craft stores or the craft it's, shows. It's the cutest thing like ever. That. So he made when he was a kid, and now I use one now on my keychain. Like it's on my, it's on my actual keys. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. All right, um, guys. Ten twenty. <laughs> that look by Ellen was wonderful. I'm tired. Me too. But I love to. I'm pretty to you tired. Guys. Yeah, we should. I get think the I'll stop the stream. Heck now. out of here, you guys! Tomorrow, <laughs> um, check out Glory Hounds. Hopefully. Page. Hopefully. Have you, gotten, you haven't gotten have not gotten the confirmation yet. Bolo ties for a hamster. <laughs> 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 Seriously though, it's so little. It's got little tight beads on it, and they're heart beads, guys. They're pink heart beads. Dude knew he was gonna marry me. He's uh, just like, I'm making this for Chris, my future wife. Um, hey, Chris Ellen Goodlet. won both games of points, Ellen. She won the first one. It's because I had salad for lunch. By 19. Can you believe that? Crap. One last view of the tat. All right. View what else want. Boom, boom, chat, boom, 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 boom. It's actually really hard. I was actually a little disappointed. So, like, down here. She won the... Oh, I'm sorry. She won the second game of points salad by one. We actually took the sticker of the tattoo and we cut it right here. She cut it because this was, like, way pivoted that way. And she re-brought it back around and stuck the other half of the sticker here, and that's what this was. But I didn't realize that so much of what I love about it is like way under my arm, so I really can't see it unless I'm like, <laughs> but other people can. So I was a little sad that it's like hidden almost. So yeah, when when I go back to get shading, I'm gonna have her add a little bit right here, just to 
because I want to see a little bit more. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> my whole arm totally is going to be one big course. tattoo. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us and joining us and chatting. Um, we really really appreciate it we lifted my spirits we're, right up we had way more fun doing this than actually playing the game and the fact point salad like did we play the game like technically yes but ellen i don't think ever looked at the cards more than five seconds nah bro i was talking <laughs> to these people half the time i said hey you should get that one we're like okay i know <laughs> you're probably the reason i won because you were like giving me advice the whole time <laughs> But yeah, yeah exactly, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys again for joining us. And uh, this is not going to be a Midwestern goodbye. We're actually saying bye. Yep. For real. Love you too. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Oh, I have to do the outro. Goodbye. Oh, dang it.